Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Things will so change in your life from this night, it will surprise you. Pro Prophecy is not just about calling names and numbers. It makes sense. It doesn't make sense if it does not come to pass. The beauty of prophecy is result, not flamboyancy. Are you getting me? I can quote everything and tell you this will happen and it doesn't happen. That's nonsense. You just clap for film show. The power of prophecy is the force that makes it happen. Are you getting my... Let this wicked spirit leave this girl now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a lot of oppression. Not even just you, your family. Your family. Is that true? This is even one of the reasons why you came. Where's your mother? In Oka now. She'll be in Oka. We have to pray. We have to pray for you. Huh? We have to pray so that the devil will not start, they will not start telling you so and so is happening to your stomach. We need to pray. Are you married? You want to get married? Why are you afraid? Was that not part of your request? God is going to visit you. It doesn't matter what your request is here. We are not as what if it's marriage? Say marriage. Don't sit down. Well, look, let me tell you, this is like a factory. Are you getting my point? This is not a lecture hall. This is where God dethrones principalities and powers over people's lives. Money enters your hand, but it leaves. And this is your family. They suffer this same thing. True. Used to be very rich, but things scatter. Yes. Then it's the same pattern now with us, the grandchildren. We need to pray, all right? And we are going to break that nonsense right here, right now. You believe it? I know that you are coming from Abuja. You met a lot of people, right? Honestly, I tell you, God is in this place, my dear. God is in this place. We say it with all humility. He's not just here, but his authority and his presence is in this place. Jesus, we lift up your name and we break everything that is not of God. I set you free right now in the name of Jesus Christ. You will rise up, you will return, and you will encounter the power of God in unusual ways. Every life siege over your life is broken and we open a new chapter. Everything that is not of God, we take it behind you and we declare that before you becomes like a garden of Eden. In the name of Jesus Christ, God bless you. Hallelujah. Be seated. God bless you. Greet one another. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Good evening, everybody. Did you greet yourselves? Please go ahead. Greet someone who is not you. Hallelujah. Two of you had dreams. Um, you saw someone you know chasing you very seriously and you were running 
please two of those people see when god begins to interrupt me like this can we just flow is that okay mm. just play what you play mike you can put it on door now. please those two people i don't know who you are you saw someone pursuing you in your dream this is very serious this is not you know them there's one more person Sometimes I wish we have all the time to minister to people one by one. Maybe one day we'll, we'll make the vigil. We'll service a night vigil. Would that be fine? Honestly, so we we'll take time. It kills my spirit when I see that the, the time is limited. This is why we rush people like this so that we can come up. Because the truth is, there are many people who have issues and you know it's that if God locates you, that will truly be the end of it. It's just that time. Are you getting my point? Time. Time is a big factor. Time is a very big factor. Time is a big factor. Come. This lady, the one chewing your hand, you stand up Come quickly, quickly. I see an angel of the Lord standing close to you and I'm wondering why he's standing close to you. You are going to be a woman of God, a very powerful woman of God. You will walk in the prophetic very, very powerfully. You will walk in the prophetic. People have not seen anything about you. You will rise in a very powerful way. And God is going to give you unusual unction. Father, let your word come through in her life. Give her unction. In the name of Jesus Christ, turn not struggle. From today, we pray that you will experience the hand of God in very dramatic ways. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Come. Your entire family needs deliverance. Huh? It's not just you. There's a cause of delay in your family. You may not believe. Listen, it is because Jesus is victorious that we can even identify things like this and address it. Are you getting my point? We have to pray. Hmm? If not, you are going to struggle. Are you a student? We need to pray. Huh? If not, you will struggle, not just academically, but in everything. I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. Lord Jesus Christ, I pray. Let him be free. Out of him now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing someone and he's tying something like a bead. And this is what I see. The Lord setting the person free. Even in your family. Lord set him free in the name of Jesus Christ. Please come brother. If I don't pray for you. The devil is going to afflict you with sickness. Very serious sickness. You believe that? Are you sick? I need to pray for you because it's going to be something um, it's going to start like ulcer but it's going to get very serious hmm? and we must rebuke it once you and that God wants your heart totally hallelujah let me pray for you father in the name of Jesus just lay your hands on your chest set him free by the mighty hand of God in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah usher Madam, come. It's you I need to pray for, not the person you are standing behind. There is a lot going on in your family. There is hardship. Hardship. Because the Lord is showing me a vision. And I'm seeing like somebody is farming on a land. Farming on, on rocky ground. And nothing is burning. We must pray. You believe that? We have to pray. You people have suffered too much in your work. Nothing is working. As you are standing like this, absolutely not that true nothing from everybody nothing is working even you you are struggling and this is a very very demonic thing you're a worker in this house and you're supposed to experience the hand of god father we love our workers why should they go through this satan i adjure you let her go now she's a worker in this house and she should be an epistle of the vision so that it will not look like we're faking this thing. My God, I pray that she will be free right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. Out of her now, that wicked spirit. 
Let her go in the name of Jesus Christ. Go now. I lay my hands and by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let her family go. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release her in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You are living never to regain whatever gives you legal access by the blood we command that she is free. Let the doors be opened. In the name of Jesus Christ, doors of increase, doors of plenty, power by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Come, let me pray for you. If you are the only one who is prospering and your family members are not experiencing it, you will not be happy. Do you understand? It should extend. We believe in family salvation here that whatever is happening to you, should happen to your loved ones how many of you believe that praise the lord no matter how prosperous you are if your family members are not getting blessed your joy will not be complete hallelujah thank you jesus christ let god visit your funny thing this demonic thing in your family i curse it now in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father please let's hurry up so we can do this next for you I'm looking at a young lady I'm seeing an old woman what is all this where are you from eh? Enugu. I'm seeing a very old woman as I'm looking at you it's not your face that I'm seeing I'm seeing another person's face and it's an old woman and if we don't deal with this, it will stop you from getting married. You will be wondering, a very pretty lady moving around. Why? Why? You know, all these kind of things. Hmm? We are going to pray. The devil is a liar. Jesus is Lord. Hmm? Hold my hands and let me pray for you. It's not your fault that you were born in your family, but it's your fault if you remain in that trouble. You must do something about it. Are you getting my point? Blaming, many of us keep blaming our parents and all of that. It may not be their fault. They did the best that they know how to do. But now that you know the truth, you must contend for change. Are you getting me? Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, let this lady be free from everything that is not of God. I set by the now, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Why did she come out? Why did I do Let me pray for you the spirit of death this is death this is not even sickness there are families that people keep dying dying and they meet a pastor and he says all right this is the last one that will happen then another one happens and he says, don't worry just give thanks in all things you must deal with it once you see fire on the mountain there's a saying in my language that if you see your neighbor's beard catching fire don't wait till it catches your own find water quickly and soak your own Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. There are things I'll tell you, but I can't tell you here, right? But your relationship with God is very important. It's not just about receiving a miracle from God, but he must have your everything. Hallelujah. You, does it make sense to you what I'm saying? It makes a lot of sense, right? Mm. Father, please visit this lady and visit her family. I separate you from every evil and every wickedness of darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, let these attacks of darkness stop in Jesus' name. Brother, well done. Let me pray for you. You need revelation. Look at me. This is what you are lacking grossly in your life. You have desire, but desire is not enough in the kingdom. You need revelation. Hallelujah. Are you getting me? This is what you need at this phase. So you must contend for light and revelation. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus Christ. I impart upon you the spirit of revelation. Let it come upon you and let it be mighty. You will understand the truths of God's word and may God use you mightily in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Who is Janet? Janet. Janet. Ah. Lord, allow us to teach tonight. Oh. Janet. Who is Janet, please? I'm hearing a name, Janet. 
Janet. You are Janet? Okay. Your mom. A man should not have a woman's name. Oh, your mother's. Okay. Janet. I'm seeing Janet. Kai, no. There is Janet in this place. Are you Janet? There is. Is it? I hope the person is here. This is how people miss out on their miracles. Janet. Janet. I will pray for you because you have come out, but I'm hearing it in my spirit. Janet. When God refuses, I refuse to because it means that there's something that he wants. The Lord is showing me a lady. Your elder sister was to get married. They, did, they even did introduction. And then something happened and they cancelled it. It was a very disappointing experience. Who is that? Please. They even did introduction. The guy came, saw your people started doing corner corner and everything just backfired please come quickly for you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you hold on there's someone you are writing jam tomorrow but you've been having dreams seeing yourself in like a primary school or a school band. who is that person you are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, it's going to be failure. You are going to fail the jam. Run, you are wearing blue. You are a lady. You are writing jam tomorrow. If I don't pray for you, you will fail the jam. Who, are you the one? You, come. You are great. The devil wants you to fail this jam. And if we don't pray again, this one is not lack of studies. Are you getting my point? This is not lack of studies. You are writing jam too. I will pray for jam people. Don't worry. Jam will pray for you. The devil is in trouble tomorrow. You, but you come, let me pray for you since the word is for you. Look at me. We have to destroy this thing. Huh? What dream did you have? I see myself failing. You see yourself failing again and again. Huh? Don't worry. The Lord is going to visit you. You believe that? Did you read? Mm. Let the angel of God's presence help you. Because this jam sometimes is just the help of God. It's not any long story. You just need God to help you. Regardless of whether you understand what you are shading or not. For the sake of his kingdom. Sometimes you just need to say help. Oh Lord. Help. As simple as that. Praise God. I know some of you are laughing. You think it's a joking matter. That's how God helped some of you. you when you saw your result. Even you. You knew that this was prophecy. It's not any... The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. God is working on your blood. This is not even the issue of jam again. God is changing your genotype. Hmm? Is that true? What's your genotype? AA. A -A. Your genotype is AA. I'm seeing God changing your genotype. It's not AA. You think it's AA. It's AS. God is changing it to AA. You fall sick, you fall sick consistently. It's not AA, your genotype is AS. I'm seeing AS and an arrow is drawing to AA. This is what God is changing. You believe that? Because even you, you are surprised why you fall sick. Your bones pain you now. Serious, just like a sick lad. It's just that they've not told you you are SS because this is demonic. Hallelujah. Father, let her pass her jam and change her genotype. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Just wait here. I think I'll just pray for jam people generally before we just start the message. Hallelujah. Disappointments for your sisters. Why are you crying? Please, my dear. It's okay. See, no matter what the issue is, I want you to believe that the Lord of heaven is in this place. When God locates you, he will solve your problem. Are you getting what I'm saying? And listen once god has located one person you don't need to wait until they call you are you getting my point this is how to tap into prophecy when god locates one person you can sit where you are and say lord i receive are you getting what i'm saying even if it's not for your sister you can challenge yourself so you must position yourself to receive let me pray for you father 
What, why are you crying? Look at me. Why exactly are you crying? Let me just ask. What? It's too much for my auntie. Your auntie, where is she? Come. I'm so touched. Why is she crying like this? Please, um, it's okay. Hmm? Let's not get. I can be emotional. I won't cry, but <laughs> I don't know why. I, I don't cry. This crying thing. I only cry when I'm worshiping God. But every other thing, I don't know why. People are crying and sometimes I'm saying, let these people not think I'm so hardened. I'm trying, but the tears. So... <laughs> I just found out that the best way to respond to my emotion is to solve the problems that cause it. Praise God. Jesus Christ is going to. Where's your auntie? She's at home. Where's home? Silver. She's just in silver close by. Why didn't she come? Invite her for miracle service. Will she come? She doesn't come to no problem. But let's pray for her. Father, please visit her auntie. In the name of Jesus. Let that spirit leave your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let that family be. Please, immediately I finish praying for them. If you are writing jam, come out. Let me just pray for you once so that we can. Am I boring you tonight? God is just flowing. And I, I have a very powerful teaching, but I think God just wants to. Some of you have been praying and we've had the word, but God needs to locate some people this night. Please, just let it happen. Let's just let God flow that way. Why are you coming out? What's happening? Hold on, hold on. What's going on? Jam. Okay, just stand where you are. You don't need to go back. Let me just pray for these people. Hallelujah. All we want is you. Take over. Take over. Till we are consumed by now. Lord, visit our family in the name of Jesus Christ. Let this plague of witchcraft be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister was disappointed. Oh, who? Yes, sir. What happened? I did the introduction, did everything. They did. There's a reason why I'm asking. God asked me to ask you. That's why. If not, I will just pray for you. They did the introduction, they did everything, and the relationship just ended like that. The guy ran away. What happened? I pray for you in this place in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Ladies, may no man just come into your life, play games with you, make you to involve your parents and then for whatever reason, go away. I separate you from it in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That anyone that has planned from day one, that he's just coming to play around with your life, may my God keep them far from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Some of these things may not even be that the guy is a bad guy. It's these demonic things that we deal with sometimes. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll pray for you. Jesus, you brought her out. Help her. Be free. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. You too. Let me just pray for you very fast. <sighs> I hope this is not what I'm going to do all through this night. Some of you are already praying. You are saying, God, it won't stop. Oh, he's already close to my... <laughs> Look, and let me tell you something. Truly, let me tell you something about the power of prophecy. You know, the Bible says that upon the throne, there were seven eyes. And close to the eyes were thrones. That means anything you see, there is authority to conquer it. Seven eyes and seven horns. Once the eye of the Lord can locate your situation, there is authority to conquer it. Are you getting my point? But then it doesn't just mean that if your case is not mentioned, you must force yourself and say, no, you can receive because the word of God is also prophetic. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your sister too, or your auntie, or you? Huh? Who? Ah, that's a long story. Oh, oh God, 
have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ I wish there was special time I had time to counsel because some of these things I can't say them openly but look at me there are certain things you think are disadvantages but they are the mercy and the deliverance of God that's just what I will tell you do you understand parables father have mercy on this lady and bless her in Jesus name don't call everything evil you need the eye of the spirit to know because some of you what you call disappointment would have been the best gift of God to you it's just that it's the future that will make you appreciate it that's why the Bible says in everything give thanks hallelujah father thank you let there be breakthrough in this family in the name of Jesus where are your people because your family needs the hand of God hmm? this is not just the issue of prayer for one person father please help this family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ this evil must stop leave the family now let the family go go in the name of Jesus Christ father we pray for the sister visit her let her marriage be successful in the name of Jesus Christ thank you Jesus Christ the Lord is lifting the yoke over your family and the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that the morning comes for your family your family has suffered a lot tell them the morning comes in the name of Jesus Christ thank you. my brother look at me where are you from Kaduna you are from Makodi there is a lot of witchcraft in your family. But Father, I pray tonight that this thing will end in the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free. Be free. Hallelujah. Jam. Jam, I'm very serious. Please, don't come here joking. Come here with every sense of seriousness as if you're already writing the exam. Jam, come out. It will take the power of God for some of you. All of you who are sitting, stretch your hands and begin to pray in tongues. Let's pray in tongues all over this place. We need miracles. Jam, we have to break this thing right now. I'm angry in my spirit because many of these people are intelligent. They are blessed. They are not dull. Let me tell you, they are not dull. This is just the hand of Satan. Jam. If there's no space, just stand where you are and begin to pray in tongues. Father, we need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. They are believers. They love the Lord. We need your mercy tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. We need your hand tomorrow. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please look at me. I started praying for jam people from Monday. The number of people who came for counseling just to be prayed for for jam. I, it troubled my spirit and I said, Lord, why are people failing jam like this? Is it because all of, I know some of you didn't read, you are just been playing around. But there are people who have been serious. And almost all the people I prayed for, for jam, I had to cast out devils from them. And then it, it dawned on me that there are some people who are suffering innocently. Hallelujah. And we need to pray this night. 
Because some of you, the truth is, the way you are standing now, you are not even ready for the jam. Let's just tell the truth and shame the devil. So, the mercy of God can take you through where you would not even be able to. Do you believe in the mercy of God? Because that's the only prayer I want to pray for you now. The mercy of God is not just for sinners. Hallelujah. Some of you, this is a destiny issue for you because you've written jam four times, five times, six graduated, you are still graduated, you are still graduated, you are still there. We need to take it seriously. Hallelujah. And to pray. So I'm going to pray for you. Lift your hands. If it's a demonic thing, that devil must go. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Father, this is what you have made this house become. A place of breakthrough. And in the name of Jesus, I pray. Listen, lift your hands, all of you. I'll first rebuke the power that is responsible for stopping some of you. As I pray, you will know that for some of you it's demonic forces that have been stopping you Jesus we lift up your name 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 now I'm going to pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every force of darkness tying anyone's academics here by the power of the Lord resident in this house I command those devils of darkness release God's people now. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost every act of divination every spirit that wants to make you fail jam in the name of jesus i cause it i cause it out of them now out of them now out of them now for those of you standing for your loved ones i command that power to leave you that power that makes you stand in the exam hall and you blank out until you fail i challenge it right now by the fire of the holy ghost hallelujah lord jesus i pray may the angel of the lord that came to give daniel understanding May that angel of the Lord go with you as you write your jam. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release angels now. I release angels from the throne of mercy. May they go with you as you shed. May they go with you. I release angels in the name of jesus i release angels as you write where you do not know may they still guide you in the name of jesus where your strength fails may the strength of elohim take you through in the name of jesus christ your resort will not be withheld in the name of jesus christ every spirit of fear in this place fear of repetition of what happened last year i command that spirit of fear go 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 i cause fear go go out now go let boldness come upon you let boldness every devil that says you cannot do it fear out of them out of them for God has not given us the spirit of fear but of love of power and of a sound mind fear is banished from your life let the heart of a lion be given to you you will go and you will succeed you will go and you will prosper you will go and you will excel I command this devil I see a spirit in this lady is already positioned 
to destroy her tomorrow i command out out now out now she must pass the job i command you to leave in the name of jesus out now in the name of jesus jesus we lift up your name bring her hallelujah let me tell you there are some of you if not for this night's prayer you would still fail the jam again and you have to wait another year but there is the power of prophecy many of you don't know the power of prophecy it comes see listen listen you can see what is happening right now all these people have been suffering whereas they are preparing the kingdom of darkness is also preparing be free to excel in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ out of her now you are a wicked spirit I know this lady personally and I know how much she has struggled I know how much she studies I had to pay for her lesson personally to make sure that she makes it now she's going to write jam tomorrow this lady is very diligent and hardworking. listen see let me tell you something before you start accusing people when you don't understand what is happening in their life keep quiet are you listening to me because there are people who need the grace of god i know that there are people who are violating principles but where they have tried and done their best and nothing is working that's when god steps in hallelujah all of you who are writing jam say in the name of jesus or if you are standing in for someone i receive courage i receive wisdom i receive an anointing to excel tomorrow i go with the backing of heaven i write my jam with the backing of heaven i refuse to fear i will excel in the name of jesus father i pray for your people may they meet above their cutoff point by far in the name of jesus you will not only pass the jam it will give you admission i prophesy it if i be a servant of god there are others you wrote it and passed jam but you didn't get admission with it not only will you write the jam may my god give you admission where men sit down and meet to frustrate you may the hand that the person that hand that can change seasons may it change your results for good in the name of jesus christ and i announce to every power you have no right over god's people i put a wall of fire over their lives as they write jam you will write it under an open heavens in the name of jesus christ you will write it under an open heavens god bless you please go back rejoicing thank you jesus christ ah my spirit is already charged goodness Spirit is boiling with anger right now. All those who are trusting God for jobs, come out and stand here. Jesus, we lift up your name. Jesus, we lift up your name. I 
tell you my spirit is fired up tonight i don't know what kind of anointing came upon me this stage but i'm angry my spirit tonight the bible says believe in the lord and you shall be established it said believe in his prophets and you shall prosper look at the number of people trusting god for jobs there's got to be a way of helping god's people are you getting my point there, there has to be a spiritual way of helping god's people let me tell you something if we cannot help god's people there is no reason why we should get people born again to leave the traditional thing they are doing and come into christianity are you getting my point we have no right to stop somebody from to insult somebody who is going to a shrine if you come for a meeting like koinonia and god cannot help you i came i prepared a nice message to come and teach but my spirit is fired up because you see this is the real problem that is bringing many of us and if we don't resolve this thing you can keep hearing the word but the truth is you will celebrate testimonies but when it happens in your life there's no other message that is stronger than that hallelujah please lift your hands we need to dethrone some wicked spirits in this place please follow me instrumentalist hallelujah we're going to pray the bible talks of these four horns that have lifted up themselves against judah some of you graduated with excellent results you have served but your result is like a piece of paper we need to break that power let me tell you it is not by power i taught it in the message give me this mountain there is a lot more there is a lot more please lift your hands there are two things i'm going to do i'm going to rebuke this spirit for many of you there are horns in your families that have said nobody will rise you've gone to school but it's as if you are still in primary school even if you are outside no problem just hang on there with faith god is doing a very prophetic thing tonight i'm about to rebuke these powers and as i take authority over them the fire of god is going to move across these people standing in a very strong way and we are going to break the hand of the devil you will see a release of miracle jobs that will surprise you my god i thank you i give you all the praise in the name of jesus lift your hands father i pray right now by the power of the holy spirit at the count of three let every devil and every enchantment every act of divination responsible for joblessness my god at the count of three may your fire move through and tear down altars right now one two three touch now 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 i cause powers i cause powers i cause powers shake it help them ushers i cause powers in the name of jesus i set them on fire let the fire of god move across everywhere and every spirit that is responsible for joblessness in the name that is above all names we set it on fire now we set it on fire now hallelujah years ago i had a story there was someone who wanted to go to nda and there is a certain height that they take and the person was too short so they told the person we cannot take you so the news got to the emir when the news got to the emir he sent the guy with a message he said go and tell the people that the emir has added his height and they took him did you hear that word he said go and tell them that the emir added the height of the short person 
we are going to pray i don't want to know what the deficiency is are you getting my point in the name that is a please believe please believe see some of you are already used to intellect so much you don't know the power of the spiritual otherwise you will struggle forever and you will find out that things are not changing because some of you are standing for your loved ones they have been praying praying in the name of jesus i command doors of miracle jobs right now i command doors of miracle jobs right now everywhere you have dropped your cv i move the angels of the lord to begin to bring wherever they have hidden it i pray let the book of remembrance be opened over you tonight in the name of the lord jesus for those of you who maybe because of the quality of your certificate humanly speaking you may not get a job my god because of the anointing he has put in your life let that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ may that anointing qualify you in the mighty name of jesus christ whoever has vowed that you will not live to be gainfully employed in the name that is above all names we arrest those powers this night hallelujah for those of you who are working but the work you are doing is like slavery in jesus name we relocate you from that job to something of dignity we relocate you from that job to something of dignity hallelujah please go back to your seat rejoicing go and submit your cvs go and apply knowing that you have an anointing i don't think we're wasting our time this night god is visiting issues and i'm very happy about it hallelujah the next set of people the lord is ministering that i call whether you or someone in your family that has been trusting god for the fruit of the womb please march out here quickly this fruit of the womb issue even if you come out 10 times tonight don't worry greatly to be praised greatly to be praised father you reign great are you lord greatly to be praised greatly to be praised father you reign great are you lord greatly honestly i really feel sad in my spirit for those who could not make it tonight for koinonia because what god is doing in this place i know that there is an unusual anointing in this place hallelujah listen listen those of you standing please listen don't get too used to just coming out and going back listen to me please my bible tells me that children are a heritage from the lord are you getting me children are not just the byproduct of a man meeting with his wife children are a heritage from the lord let me tell you the, something about the mystery of barrenness look up please jesus looked at a tree what did he do to the tree to be barren that means what is responsible for barrenness is that true jesus gave us an example of how anything can be made barren he looked at the tree he didn't advise the tree he caused the tree so how do you reverse barrenness 
Are you listening to me? Jesus looked at a tree that was bearing, at least it had leaves. Are you getting my point? And he cursed it. How did he curse it? By making pronouncements. Did he rub charcoal on the tree? He just made pronouncements. Listen. Job said that he shall deliver you from the scourging tongues of men. You know what the scourging tongues of men? The scourging tongues of men are wicked pronouncements. We live in a generation where we do not know the power of words. We confess, we talk it, we run around. But when a word is spoken with an anointing, whether it is demonic or of God, the only remedy is if revelation has shielded you from its effect. Otherwise, it will hit you. Now listen. I want to explain to you the mystery of this devilish thing we call fibroid. Because there are only about four or five things that make people not to be able to give birth. They now tell the man he's impotent, low spam, or whatever kind of medical terminology. Huh? And then for the lady, they now say she's barring fibroid, maybe some cysts or a womb, something has happened. And now, please, if you're a doctor here, don't, don't, I'm not, I'm not against you. Don't be offended. I'm just telling you that there is a higher spiritual intelligence. Are you getting my point? Because this is purely spiritual. Look at me. A lot of people take in. Most people, you see, I counsel people all the time. It's not what I read in a book. It's what I have seen. Hallelujah. The woman takes in. Huh? And then, when she takes in, you will find out that she will lie down quietly to sleep and she will have a dream oftentimes and another man will come and sleep with her or another woman or something will happen she'll wake up in the morning with blood she's lost the child or all kinds of demonic satanic things but the bible says blotting out every handwriting and every ordinance that means there are handwritings and there are ordinances but the bible says blotting it out Hallelujah. Do you believe the prayer we are going to pray tonight? Because we are going to deal with this thing. There are some, the money they have spent just to get one child is running into millions. They've done everything they can do. But the God that gives children. If a herbalist by the riverside, brothers and sisters, can bath somebody and give the person a child, we have no right to be telling believers to stop going to herbalists if God cannot give children. Children are a heritage from the Lord. Lift your hands. I know there are, there are only a few of you here that are standing for yourself. Most of you are standing for your loved ones. And God opened the womb of Hannah. And God opened the womb of Rachel. And God opened the womb of Leah. Whether for yourself or for the person you are standing for. I'd like you to say after me in the name of Jesus. I'm a child of God. And I declare. That my womb is open. Open to receive. And open to give birth normally. In the name of Jesus. Now lift your hands. You'll be surprised at what will happen here now then you will know that nothing just happens. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. My God, you are the one doing this. I don't even know what I'm doing. You need to step in for families. We can't keep preaching every week and not have people receive. Lift your hands, please. There are lots of chains that will be broken right now. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Whether for yourself or those you are standing, at the count of four, just four counts. Because I see angels with swords. Lord, let the chains be broken. One, two, three, four. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. I cause barrenness. I cause it. I cause it. I command a blessing. 
every barren womb receive in the name of Jesus every barren womb be opened in the name of Jesus everyone called barren all the covenants and diabolisms that have blocked their wombs we command miracle children we command miracle babies I come against the spirit of miscarriage in the name of Jesus Christ I come against the spirit of miscarriage every fibroid in every womb I curse you you will pass out now everyone carrying any growth any tumor any cyst in the name of Jesus whether for you or your loved ones I curse it fibroids go fibroids go without surgery fibroids go in the name of Jesus Christ any medical complication associated with this barrenness we change it now for those who do not have wombs we don't want to know what happened that the wombs were lost this night we give them new wombs every damaged womb we are not praying for healing we create a new one by the word of God that created the heavens and the earth that nine months from now there will be celebration of miracle children I prophesy it I decree it let the power of God bring it to pass hallelujah God bless you please go back to your seat rejoicing thank you Jesus thank you Jesus thank you Jesus hallelujah now I'm led to pray listen this is a special prayer and please don't be emotional about it there are certain people here you're having acute academic challenges it's not because you are dull your own has become a serious issue you know you need prayer march out quickly march out quickly if you are ashamed sit down on your seats here there are people who have serious you came here tonight your results were released for some of you and you know that your academics is in a state of emergency come out here let's deal with this thing once and for all can you play strings please? we refuse to believe that you are dull the devil is a liar please come quickly find your way just come here let's save time goodness past eight if this is all we do today no problem hallelujah if this is all we do today no problem next week is a powerful communion service we'll be having communion and i'll be laying hands on everybody everybody who comes i'm going to be laying hands on everybody praying in tongues and speaking hallelujah i'm going to be sharing a powerful revelation on the mystery of the blood hallelujah it's going to be a powerful communion service we'll be serving communion and it will be an anointing service again i'm going to lay hands on everybody hallelujah things must change we are going to force things to change hallelujah please if you can find your way come in I, I want to see you but if you cannot no problem we need to rebuke academic issues hallelujah listen let me tell you something not everyone you see struggling academically is struggling because they are not serious out of him now come out i hear the chains falling falling oh, oh. i hear the chains falling you must let him go you're a wicked spirit i hear the chains falling see that power must let you go this night 
that power must let you go this time. Hallelujah. How many of you have had so many people telling you, I was the best student in my secondary school. I was very good. Some of you here, as you are standing, you cannot even believe that you are the one going through what you are going. Because if you tell people, they will not believe. You were exceptional people. But as soon as you stepped in, something happened. Some of you literally, during exam, this thing they call exam fever, and people laugh about it. They've even given it a name, exam fever. It's a wicked and demonic thing. What is exam fever? It's not because of tension. You wrote Wayek, you wrote Jam, you entered the university. See, the, the reason, can I tell you something? Listen, the reason why many people are suffering like this is because there is no platform to help them explain what they are going through. So they just keep quiet. They go to church on Sunday and they rejoice. They go to church weekdays. They rejoice. But the truth is, this, see, my teaching tonight was to teach us on loving God more. But the sincere truth is, these are the worries that are stopping us from being passionate about God. Is that true? It's not enough to just say, love God. He said, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? Take us back to our land and we'll sing the Lord's song. Can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? It's very difficult. Hallelujah. There are some of you right here. You are the only ones in your family that are in school. And the devil wants to make sure that he kicks you out by all means. It's because she's part of that word that I just said. That's why. Hallelujah. There are some of you. They are saying if you don't do well. You will just go and get married because this is your thing. It's like you are not moving anywhere. Marriage is not a quick way of escaping. It's not escapism. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. That a hand will come upon you. And oh, see, the Bible says that Jesus opened up their understanding. That means it can be locked. Are you getting my point? Jesus opened up their understanding so that they may understand the scriptures you are not dull some of you have even believed it jesus died to make sure that you excel are you hearing what i'm saying and i don't care what your cgpa is right now even if you have been withdrawn i want you to know that there is hope for you many preachers may not tell you this they will just criticize and say this you are an embarrassment to redemption you are not an embarrassment to redemption it's because of you redemption happened are you hearing what i'm saying and right now i want to prophesy and speak over your life lift your hands please in one minute talk to the lord and say lord i've been struggling with this thing now you have located me please solve this problem please pray some of you are absolutely intelligent. We refuse to believe that you are dull. Kick away that thing. I don't care what your results have said. Talk to the Lord from the depths of your heart. Some of you have refused to sleep for weeks. This is what has tied you down. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands. Let me pray. Of course, there are spirits that are responsible. Some of you, listen. What you need is to get serious. As simple as that. For some of you, that's all you need. You don't need any deliverance. You just need to obey the principles of diligence. See yet a man diligent. You are not diligent. You need to leave wrong associations and find godly people who are doing well some of you what you need is humility you are not doing well and you are very arrogant you won't humble yourself and meet the people who can help you in this kingdom you must be humble are you getting me for some of you is 
inferiority complex because you went to a secondary school where you use stone and you you sat down and the blackboard somebody holds it so what so what about that and you have allowed the society to make you feel you are nobody i can't speak english very well i'm not as fine as they are other people attended queen's college and us we attended school that we are the people that were building the school as we're attending the lecture <laughs> so you feel discouraged no tonight i cancel that pronouncement over your life lift your hands let me pray and rebuke those spirits now thank you jesus please help me with the symbol at the count of three i'm going to pray goodness i'm telling you the fire of god is going to come on a very in a very mighty way lord jesus every power holding your academics at the count of three i set them on fire one two three take it now leave them i command those powers be taken from your academics i rebuke those spirits of failure inferiority i set them on fire on fire now on fire now by the power of the holy ghost i set those spirits on fire let those people go let those people go i command that you excel i prophesy that you excel everyone on probation we take you out of probation tonight in the name of jesus those who have been withdrawn we pray that they will accept you in another department and you will excel though weeping and just for a night i prophesy to you joy comes joy comes with the morning i prophesy to you he said is there hope for a tree though it be cut off at the scent of water this night i command every academic dry pole come alive come alive come alive come alive every spell every divination over your academics i set you free now in the name of jesus whoever has made pronouncement over your life that you will not excel i cause that prophecy i cause that word i bless you i bless you prosper i bless you i bless you in the name of jesus let the blessing cause you to prosper hallelujah anyone called god anyone called god there's nobody that god created that is god anyone called god i change that testimony tonight in the name of jesus hallelujah there are some of you here you are like wounded soldiers but we bring you the bomb that is in gilead tonight others may have insulted you and made it look like nothing good can come out of your life but i prophesy to you you can rise again are you hearing me listen some of you are starting afresh they have laughed at you but start the hand of god will go with you in no time you will pursue you will overtake and that which has been prophesied over your life will come to pass everyone who has scorned you and pushed you and ridiculed you may they see you in your glory may they see you in your glory and when the lord turned again the captivity of zion we were like them that dream and our hearts were filled with laughter and said they among the hidden the lord has done great things for us he said the lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh god like the streams of the negev lord i pray you turn around situations here tonight turn around situations oh god there are some of you this is your last session to do well in that department 
and if you don't do well they may withdraw you i pray by the mercies of the god of david oh god remember those you died for let a book of remembrance be open tonight may you rise miraculously out of probation hear me and anyone here who has been unjustly treated that the sincere truth is that your result now you are holding what is not your own may the lord of sabaoth the one who avenges for men may that god avenge for you that anyone who has victimized you because of your christian integrity and you are suffering today because of your integrity let the lord of sabaoth arise in the name of jesus christ thank you for lifting thank you for lifting please go back to your seat thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting thank you for lifting God is really dealing with issues tonight. I'd like you to just settle down I'm just don't mind me if you're coming here for the first time tonight please just let us do our mad things the way we are doing it hallelujah how many of you agree that God is visiting issues tonight whatever prayer you prayed this week God had you maybe it's because the prayer band people are doing retreat tomorrow they have shaken the heavens Venga. People have prayed their lives and they have said enough is enough i just came and mounted the stage and god said no way hallelujah praise the lord jesus praise the lord jesus hallelujah i want to pray for a special set of people right now um there are families please can you hear me outside can you hear me say amen okay god bless you thank you there are families here that have one or two people that are as stubborn as anything how many of you know what i mean i don't just mean rebellious you have some people that even the community around you is tired of parents drag their children and bring them for counseling once i see a mother enter and i see a son following i know that this son has caused headache are you getting me the church is the light of every city if for now we may not be able to build boreholes and the rest we can rehabilitate these stubborn children that's a, a place to start there are testimonies in this place of children or people who came and were as stubborn as anything from those who are thieves huh it's not just guys guys and ladies some of you you are here as i mentioned the case don't just stand for somebody you know that there's this spirit in you it's called the spirit of rebellion there are some of you who still no matter what happened listen we are a family tonight koinonia is not where everybody says tell them or point accusing fingers everybody has something is trusting god to bring him out of are you getting my point so this is a family in this place tonight there are people who have struggled with this rebellious spirit. Some of you even beat up your loved ones. You are a lady, but when that thing comes upon you, you can even beat somebody as, as, as big as Kenny or Shedrach. And then later you just cool down. You say, what happened? You say, they made me angry. You need deliverance. Quickly. Let me just tell you. Praise God now don't get when i talk of deliverance i'm not necessarily talking of turning your head you need a separation between you and that spirit let's define what we call deliverance here so that you don't just think i mean go and fast for 12 days do this uh -uh. what is happening every time the word comes is able to deliver 
Hallelujah. So whether you are standing for your loved ones or for yourself, there are some of our brothers here, you, you love God or at least you have an interest for the things of the kingdom. But this rebellious spirit, even you, you cannot explain. Together with those of you who are involved in smoking and drinking, this is a strange night. Praise God. We are not just going to do an altar call secretly between you and God. I'm going to pray. This is not an altar call. This is a call to say, Lord, I'm tired. I can't keep hiding this thing. Praise God. Are you getting my point? Please come out quickly. Well, come out quickly. Come and stand. If you are standing for yourself, stand in front and start praying. Start praying and say, Lord, enough is enough. Don't let anybody laugh at you. God is changing you. Please stand. There's nothing to be ashamed of. This is a factory where God is building people. And all of you who are sitting, please be praying in tongues. Everybody sitting, begin to pray in tongues. Begin to pray in tongues. Let's set this atmosphere on fire. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Forget about who is looking at you. Forget about who is looking at you. Hallelujah. 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 There are some of you who are standing in for yourselves. There's no reason to be afraid or ashamed. For those ones, I'm going to hold your hands and I'm going to pray for you. And then we'll prophesy for all the rest. Please, if you know that you have seen this thing is in your own life, not that of your brother, whether you're a guy or lady, please move forward here. Come and stand and let me pray for you. If you are ashamed, please go back. We are very serious. Even with all this encouragement, you don't see any. Just stay back, please. These are things we are dealing with. This is spiritual rehabilitation so that your Christianity will be authentic. It may not be your fault. Hallelujah. 95% of these so-called stubborn or rebellious people, every time I talk with them, some of them begin to cry. And they tell me in all sincerity, I don't like it. Are you getting me? There are ladies here, weak. There is no weak. You don't follow a man to sleep with him. You are born again. You even pray in tongues. People have told you it's all right. You are the righteousness of God. But you know that that theology is not. It's not. It's true that you are the righteousness of God. But something is happening in your life that is negating that, and it must be dealt with. There are some of our brothers. You love God some of you still as anointed as you are once you just sit down a spirit tells you exactly where the place is and you go and carry it they give them every kind of scientific name i don't care what the name is it must bow this night are you getting what i'm saying when i finish then i'll prophesy over everybody everybody must go home with something this night in the name of the lord jesus christ hallelujah now those of you standing in front for our time i'll pray with you very quickly i'm not going to ask you what the issue is but i want you to believe listen there are some of you your own issue is money once you see money hi you don't it's like an anointing comes on you once you see money, the issue of born again is out of the way. Please, I want you to know if nobody has told you that it's a serious issue. That's what has stopped some of you from getting married. You have vowed that if the guy is not established and a millionaire, he should back to sender. You keep saying all those things and you are laughing about it. If you've been laughing about it, let me challenge you. You better hear what I'm saying and take it as the voice of God. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with God blessing you with a millionaire. But everybody starts somewhere. It's only the grave that you start digging from the top. Every other thing you start from under. Hallelujah. I'm going to agree with you. And those spirits will leave you. 
you will go back home a changed person and you will find out that those laws see do you know the listen let me tell you you are truly delivered if the urge to do what you are doing has left you if you are still enduring and using willpower you need prayers are you getting me there are men who are not sleeping with ladies but they cannot look at a fine lady like this and go back home safely that one look it will take one week recovery of one week you will reboot your spiritual life again you need prayers don't let anybody tell you it's normal everybody's like that then what is the purpose of the power of the holy spirit if we are not faking this thing and we believe the power of god is real something can happen to you are you getting my point or you are not stealing you've not carried it it's just that opportunity has not presented itself yet but once you are still struggling with the urge for something you need prayers as simple as that never convince yourself that everything is over yet once you find out that there is something still pushing you you get up and you know that you just want to go to the man's house he just calls you and says ah I'm in Kano, close to you here. Can you come? Just take a cab, I'll pay. And you are just thinking, should I go? Should I not go? If I go, I'm coming back with nothing less than 50,000. If I don't go, I'm struggling this weekend. But I've had a message. And while you are listening, God will remind you of one koinonia message. And you will hear me with my big mouth lashing this thing again and again. And God will say, choose. Choose by yourself. Ladies, if you cannot look at a man and tell him, I stand for Jesus and I will hold on to my Christian integrity, you need prayers and revelation. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm telling you this from the depths of my heart. This is not condemnation. I'm helping you. Jesus, we thank you. Those of you sitting, stretch your hands towards them. Let me pray quickly for the people in front. Somebody help me. I'll just pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. Once I as I lay my hands on you, just begin to confess that you are free. Free. Go. Leave her now. smokers make sure you join them i'm not going to ask you whether whatever you are smoking indian hemp benelin we we everything join them i don't care what it is once you are smoking something you need prayers i'm serious about it please i don't care whether this is your first time or you are a pastor there's nothing to be ashamed of once you have this addiction of drunkenness and smoking join them is this spirit of rebellion? Go ahead, worship him. Help I won't go back. I won't go back. Out. 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 Of Jesus. 
Jesus Christ. I set you free. And right now, in the name of are standing for somebody i'm going to pray generally i'm just praying for those who are standing for themselves just be patient i will speak over your life we need salvation for listen if koinonia is here and at least samaru is not we can build borehole for people but if the crime rate does not reduce if there are still bad people around we are hypocrites we are just doing jamboree and doing church are you getting me but if the families in the days of john g lake spokane was the neatest and cleanest and healthiest city in the whole world because they were envoys this is what apostolic reformation is all about it's not just speaking grammar that you left your home a thief and you came back a prophet and apostle something must happen to your loved ones wait and see after this prayer some of them will follow you for miracle service those who have vowed that they won't come you will see them coming because they tried all their rehabilitation they took your name to prophets nothing happened hallelujah listen i have a very serious word of advice maybe it's because you've never had a preacher say it but let me say some things very clear Sex outside marriage is sin. Everybody say noted. noted. So that you are never confused again that maybe they didn't say it or they said it. I'm taking this issue very seriously. Sex outside marriage of any kind for whatever reason is sin. Forget about your past. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm not condemning you. Past is past. Number two, stealing money from people, your loved ones and people around in the name of playing tricks and pranks brings a cost to your life. I don't care what revelation of redemption you have. You keep stealing willfully and consciously and see what happens because the scriptures cannot be broken. Are you getting what I'm saying? Brothers, we we. Benelin, what's the name of that other thing? Codin. What again? Huh? These people made these drugs as a way of adding value to humanity. And these wicked spirits started working in people. You ask them a simple question. One plus one, they cannot answer. But they know which drug can take you high. 
that's spiritual. Are you getting me? A time will come we are going to organize a service and bring these people. And you will see the power of God setting these people free. There's no need just talking. At, they are the ones stealing around. And if we really want the crime rate to reduce and we want to, them to stop raping our ladies in the night and doing all kinds of things, they must be delivered. This is not just the issue of police station. This is the issue of the power of God. Then the church will have an influence with government because they will know that it's not just Bible study on Sunday, but there is what we call apostolic reformation. There is enough power to help anybody who desires to be helped no matter how stubborn they are hallelujah praise god come please take a powerful worship sam just take a powerful worship as i pray for these people how many people are left here all right let me if i pray for you please just step back so that i just finish up with these people very quickly thank you jesus christ i don't care what the issue has been if you are in a relationship with a married man, as soon as we are sharing the grace, send him a text. Hello? Ladies, if you are in a relationship with any man that is married and has a wife, send him a text. Tell him a man of God spoke to you and now your eyes are open. Don't insult him. Say, I have gotten the truth. I love you. Whatever is not working with your wife, I invite you for koinonia. God will solve it. Leave their marriage so God can give you your own. When you enter and destroy another man's marriage, I'm saying it now. Somebody must say this thing. You are not a counselor. Say the man says he's not satisfied with his wife. They need prayers. They don't need you. You are coming in now as what? A well-wisher? Don't take anybody's wife. The same thing with men. Don't take anybody's woman because you have money. And then you think you are married you are a big boy and this let's stop these things somebody has got to talk hallelujah so that god can now bless you the bible says if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways then will i hear from heaven and will heal their will, will forgive their sins and heal their land Hallelujah. Sam, please. Any song? Okay, let's pray quick. Thank you, Jesus. So we say, I set you free. So the Lord can use her. In the name of Jesus, by the fire of the Holy Ghost, everything that sponsors this rebellion, leave her now.
name of Jesus. Receive my everything. Take all my everything. I give my everything. Receive my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You are my everything. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. You are my everything. Take all of me. Take all of me. All of me, Lord. Take all of me. Take all of me. Everyone with a loved one in your house that is giving everybody a headache from stealing to prostitution. Hallelujah. There are some, they won't go to school, they won't do anything, but they can cause trouble to everyone. It's not normal. Don't hate them. Stop hating them. Now you have spiritual intelligence to know that there are spirits that operate. Trying to hate them and just beat and box them will not solve the problem. You can even call police to come and flog them. They can jail them for one week. They will come out and repeat the same thing. But you try the power of God and see what will happen. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. Father, this is one of the reasons why you set up this platform and in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Let there be deliverance and salvation to those ones in the name of Jesus. I declare that beginning from tonight, may the Lord begin to convict their hearts. May they be born again and mightily used by God. I prophesy that they will be born again and mightily used by God. We choose to see the goal that is in them. We choose to see the great destiny. We declare that their lives are not useless. No matter how much they have wasted their life, my God gives them another chance. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now I've prayed for them. On your own path, as much as you can, talk to them. Listen, it's not just to bring them for koinonia. You are anointed. You have been using cane to flog them. One day, get angry in your spirit and speak to that spirit and you watch what will happen in your house. You will see the drama of the power of God. See, this is why some of our parents or some loved ones do not believe that your coming for koinonia is blessing you. If all you are taking back is koinonia messages, they will be blessed, but they need to see an evidence in your life that something is working hallelujah god bless you please go back to your seat quickly one last category and we are done for tonight goodness please don't miss next week's communion service i already sense that god is doing very 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 mighty things hallelujah hallelujah please i don't want you to just come out emotionally hallelujah whether you are inside or outside if you run a business if you have a business whether it's a family business or it's your own i'm not saying if you are thinking of an idea or if you are just doing something small around you know that whether it's a family business whatever it is from poultry to whatever and you think that you want to see the hand of God in your business and that of your family members, please, I'm begging you, let's save time. Hallelujah. If you belong to that category, you know that you just need the touch of God. I want you to come out and stand here. Trust him. Trust him that God will do something. Please, the sound.
Now, while they come, I want to encourage everyone here. Please listen, inside and outside. While you are waiting for jobs and other things, especially for the guys, I want to challenge every one of you here. Hallelujah. Just stand. I'm going to pray for you. Please take this very seriously. Something will happen to you. But I want you to listen. Those of you who are not doing anything, I'm challenging you tonight. You can't keep sitting down and waiting for a job. Brothers and sisters, the sincere truth is that in the world that we live today, just having one stream of income of your job will not do you good. I hope you know that. Praise the Lord. I don't care even if it is 200,000 per month you are receiving. It will not be enough. It may be enough for you now because you are stingy and greedy and you are doing everything for yourself. Let children come. How much is the school fees of one child? A very good school. Good school. Huh? Over 100,000 plus. You can imagine. Now you have been shouting. You are training your children with 150 and you are collecting 100,000. Your entire life till you die, till high blood pressure kills you, will be on deficit. But you need you is it doesn't just mean to jump into things foolishly here and there but let me tell you listen listen you must get up and do something the man with one talent sat down for somebody in this place this is the message god is telling you if you if you are afraid of doing business you can start a poultry at least what is wrong with three or four of you listen i'm very serious just just stop this. Let me press this thing down. Praise God. What is wrong with three or four of you bringing 50, 50,000 naira together huh? and buying one small golf and getting somebody honest to be putting it on the road for you? You bought a phone of 70,000 naira. That's your destiny there. You are holding it on your hand and moving around. Are you getting what I'm saying? I don't just want to pray and chorus this like music. Some of us are not doing anything about our lives. You must get up. There are ladies here. I challenge one of our ladies. She came to me and I said, you are good. What can you do? She said, I can bake. I said, bake what? She said, cupcakes. I said, what has stopped you from baking cupcakes? Five or ten. Package it very well. Give it a beautiful name. You think people won't buy it? You will sit down and be thinking about the idea and then somebody will do it and you'll be biting your finger. Not taking a risk is a greater risk. Some of you are afraid. What if my money goes? That you kept it. Are you not eating the money? The money is still going. Praise the Lord. Seek advice. Seek advice. We teach on finances to be able to help us. I don't believe in people getting anointed alone and remaining poor and broke. And now is the time to start. Start and fail honorably. Fail honorably and do it again. It's better than sitting down. Or God Jordan is here. Or Jordan, wave your hand. Or God Jordan is here. I knew when he started his bookstore. The room was so small. It was just like this little place. But today God has honored him. He's already making modalities to enter partnership with people like Evangel and all of these people going to China to bring in books. He started small. My brother, where is this gentleman? This guy that made tomato. Wave your hand now. This gentleman came to me for counseling. I remember. And he told me. I said, what, what can you do? He said, I can do irrigation tomato or something. And he did it. Within a month or two, this guy brought a black leather full of very heavy, big, big tomatoes. But someone was still sitting down there. There is something you can do. Say, I will do something. Say it. Some of you brothers, you are sitting there. The truth is there's something small in the account. Maybe 20,000. Maybe 10,000. If you start a small recharge card, this thing. Challenge yourself. Don't let Nigerians with their, with their fear come and meet you and tell you this and that. If you are afraid of moving forward, you will be broke in this life. Let me tell you the truth. Brothers, challenge yourself. God is speaking to you this night. I'm not saying just get into every kind of hustling and get into every kind of gimmicks and scammings around. No. But you can settle down with directed financial intelligence. You can do something that can bless you. 
Ladies, how many of you bake here? If you know you bake to the glory of God, let me see your hands. Why are you sitting down? Is that not your gift? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Have you tried it and failed? When you fail, you learn the lessons and get back. Hallelujah. There are all kinds of fields around. If you get a small place and start poultry, within six to seven weeks, they are ready. Some of you are good. How many of you are good in graphics? Good in graphics. You know that you are good enough to... to you see that? Can't you start something? Look at the media. Imagine if you are so good, why can't you come and advertise yourself and tell the media, I'm very good. Give me job to do for Koinonia. If you bring proposals and we look at it and it makes a lot of sense, we'll take it and we'll pay you for it. We won't say you're a Christian brother. We'll pay you for your value. But have you taken a step? No. Some of you make shirts. How many of you make shirts? Let me see your hands. You make shirts. Honestly, you make shirts. You, and you have never made any shirts for me. And I know you. You see what you are saying? Ejimi, when Ejimi started making shirts, it was iron. Hot iron. What do they call it? Is it screen printing? No, that's not screen printing. Yeah? Heat transfer. You will press the iron on the shirt, and then we will we'll go on with it. Challenge yourself. Let's not just keep saying demons, demons, demons. Where it is our own part to play, let's play it. Is that true? I feel like everybody should stand up. Everybody stand up. You must join them in this, in this one. Why are you sitting down? With everything they have said, you are supposed to be standing up and even raising two hands. <laughs> let's pray and then after it, we'll take the altar call. I want everybody to be blessed. Not everybody will be a man of God to stand on stage and be receiving honorariums. But there is something you can do. Everyone say, there's something I have. I, I cast out that spirit of fear that stops you from taking action. Fear of losing. Fear of what? I cast it out in the name of Jesus. If you must be blessed in life. It takes audacity. It takes gods. Hallelujah. Ladies, how many of you plot? I know Selena Platts. Where is she? Selena. She has run away. Okay, look at her. Some of you plot. But the problem is, you are like the man with the one talent. You buried it and sat quietly. Have you come out to make yourself known? Look, let me tell you. If you think you have what it takes, market yourself. And we will promote you. I assure you. If you think you have what it takes... And you believe you are prepared to stand. We are not going to bring crooks. As I'm saying this now, let me balance it. You are a crook. We will se we'll pray. We will send you away. We will pray for you. If you become a headache, we will send you away. Clean business with the dignity of kingdom integrity. Fail honorably. We will clap for you and pray for you again. But don't sit down and not do anything. Hallelujah. And then start small. Some of you want good luck, Jonathan, to call you to be his secretary. Start small. Start small. Start small. How many of you make um, maybe mouthwash or lotions or soap and all of that? How many? Look at. Look at your money. See all your money here. Everybody. How many of you sell perfumes or cosmetics? You see that? Look at. I'm not saying you should come to church and come to do business around, but there, there are thousands of people. Please, I'm challenging you. Take it very seriously. Oh boy, you make cake now. Raise your hand. Why didn't you wave your hand? That gentleman, wave it very well. That gentleman makes exceptional cakes. The first time his sister made cake for me was in 2006. My birthday, Debbie. That cake made sense. And then another thing I'll tell you again is, maybe the reason why you are where you are is you need to improve on yourself. Don't be a local champion and keep smiling. We will not patronize your product. And don't be angry. Don't say all this coin on your... We won't buy it. Let me tell you in advance. You make a shirt that does not align this place. We will not buy it, sir. So learn and be excellent. 
Say, I'll be excellent. How many of you fried chicken? You know the guy, Kentucky fried chicken. I think he was about 64 years or 84 years thereabout. It was frustration that led that man to start KFC. You see it around. Kentucky fried chicken. Today he has, he's a multi-millionaire, if not a billionaire, because he dared to take a step. You don't have to do everything. You are doing chin chin. You are doing bones. You are doing uh, every, No, no. Specialize somewhere. This is what I always tell people. Jack of all trades, you are, they say, what are you doing? Say, I'm doing everything. I'm, I make beats. I also sell pure water. Calm down. Focus on something. Kenny, your aunt, where is Kenny? Your auntie does what? What does she do? She sells coke. She retails coke. She makes so much money. Maybe in one day, what her salary will give her in one month. And we are still sitting down here. Is it that you are calling yourself dull or you are saying you cannot make it? Please challenge yourself. Brothers, God is speaking to you. I know that we are advising the sisters and saying start small, but you too cooperate. Haba, the small cannot be too bad like that. Cooperate. Let's balance the equation. Because some of us, we can't keep telling the sisters, okay, just come with anybody and the brother is not doing anything. You too be sincere. If the sister was your daughter, will you just give her to any man like that? Rise up and do something. Have you taken proposal to go and meet the schools around and say, I need to change your school uniform. I need to redesign it. Everybody may say no, but somebody will say yes. Hallelujah. I spent four good weeks teaching on financial dominion so that we will take steps. We were discussing with somebody on the potentials of seeing a laundry service around. Very excellent laundry service. There are some of you who can do it. Package yourself. I think it was with my sister. Baby, it was you, Abby? Yes. We're talking with my sister. And then, okay, Kenny, you were there too, and, and those boys. We sat down and we're talking. My sister, this lady wants to start a car wash. As you see her like that. She can't be my sister and she's not. The Bible says, let this mind be in you. Force it to be in you too. She's starting a car wash. A copper, but she's going to start a car wash. How old are you? You want to wait until the day it dawns on you that your energy is fading. Lift your hands. Don't go and steal. Don't go and do anything bad. But set it down. Many of you are crying and say, capital, capital, hold on. How many of you know about you win? At least you win is not a scam. We all know that is genuine. How many of you applied? You see that? Whereas there are people I know in this place who can settle down and help you prepare good business proposals. 10 million naira, not debt, grant that the government is giving. And let me tell you, they are very fair. I know some of our people here who got it. And I know they are very fair and genuine. How about submitting a proposal? Or at least partnering with somebody else. You can partner with somebody else. By the time the money comes, so a few of our people here got, got it. Brothers and sisters, let's wake up. God is talking to us. Hallelujah. Let's not just be falling down. Take it, take it, and fall down. But let's get up and do something. Hallelujah. Challenge yourself. Challenge yourself. How many of you fix computers? You know that you know anything around computers. Okay, Moses, who again? Honestly, why can't you start a very good factory? Genuinely, if you can't fix the person's phone or computer, tell the person I cannot do it. How many of you bring in cars? Anybody does that? You just brought a car from Abuja now. Did you do it well? Clean business. You got your own commission. That's what we are talking about. You don't have to play pranks and tricks to be blessed. Are you getting me? Please, I'm challenging you. Hear me inside and outside. I'm going to pray now, but I want to challenge everyone. I don't just want to chorus it just like that. And then we don't do anything. In the whole of Amadou Bello University, for instance, at least let me use one institution. Is there an ice cream machine there? 
Please answer me. Is there an ice cream machine? Look at. And there are over 40,000 potential customers. There are some of you here, the money you have right now in your account can buy 10. Why don't you prepare a proposal? Three or four of you. Don't just choose people because they are Christians and then they cheat you and you come and give me a headache here. Use financial intelligence. Are you getting me now? So that somebody, because I'm aware that in a crowd like this, there are all kinds of people. Don't let anybody come in the name of the Lord and carry you and then go and do some kind of funny things. No. But with proper financial intelligence, some of you here, you have the potentials to be paying the school fees of others. You are looking for a job that will give you 30000 whereas God wants to make a nation out of you. An ice cream machine. An ice cream machine. Let me tell you. I remember when one guy opened an ice cream machine some years ago. I was spending more than 1000 a bit 2000 per day just to buy for myself and others. One tiny cup like this. One color. Not even chocolate and this. One milk color. See, as a Christian, take the anointing you are receiving and let it open your eyes to see opportunities. Are you getting my point? Where others are looking, you should see. Don't let anybody tell you you are small. No. Challenge yourself. This is how to get out of poverty. Please do it and fail honorably. If you did it in integrity, my God will revisit you and you will rise up again. Hallelujah. At this level, it may be unwise for you to start thinking, I want to develop an estate. You may not have that kind of money. It may require tens and hundreds of millions to do that. So why don't you start small? How many of you are producers, music producers? You can produce. You can produce, Mike. You can produce. You too. You too. See? Have you packaged yourself enough? Have you tried to do a jingle proposal for media? Why don't you do a jingle proposal for media? Have you done it and they didn't pay you? Let me tell you something. In as much as we are working in the body of Christ, are you getting my point? I understand the principle of rewarding value. Can I tell you something? I'm challenging everyone in this place. If you have something you think can make Koinonia a better place and you package it, bring it as a proposal. If we love it, we will honor you and we will pay you for it. I guarantee you. Every week, welfare is cooking. Why can't some of you make poultry? Look at our ladies. Shortly, I'm going to be announcing some new weddings that have come up now. Why don't you go and meet them and say, I have 100 birds. Just book. How much is one bed? 1,005. One five. Now, if you have 100 beds, or let's say 50 beds, how much is that? About 75,000 there about. And then they carry the money and they are giving somebody and we are sitting in the body of Christ. Please, let's be wise Christians. Times have changed. Are you getting my point? I'm saying this from the depths of my heart to challenge us. Don't say there is nothing I, can, I cannot do. He said, what do you have in your house? There is always something in your house. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. There is something you have in your house. You can sell clothes. Do you know, listen, I have been shocked. Many of you, you have seen me come to stand here to minister. And you know that as ministers, we are always wearing clothes. And some of you have, there are, see, if this was in the east or this was in the south, Somebody will sit down and say, let me study the kind of shirt this person is wearing. Let me study this and that. And then you start producing. It's only one lady. Where is she? Our decoration mama. Where is she? I think she was the only one together with Ada. It was you, right? Together with Ada. That they were able to put something on ground. Because she's a fashion designer. As a fashion designer, you are there throwing your money, designing rags all around. And people are not buying design something decent how many brothers dress well here there are some of you who can sell nice suits you may not be able to afford certain levels maybe 30,000 40 50 100 but you can start small many brothers here don't know where they sell suits why don't you bring it closer home hallelujah some of you draw how many of you draw you are painters or you are artists 
you, you did very well. You are one of the best students now in your have you tried to do a proposal to say when it is somebody's birthday, you can say, I can point, paint your picture. 30,000 people are selling one of those artworks. Have you done anything? So let's stop blaming God when we have not taken any step. Hallelujah. Let's lift our hands. Thank you, Jesus. As we lift our hands in worship, as we praise your holy name, you deserve the glory and the honor. Father, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you are great, you do miracles so great. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for your people by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let an anointing come upon every business in this place. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray that your businesses will rise beyond these limits. From the realm of thousands, we take it to the realm of millions. From the realm of millions, we take it to tens of millions and hundreds of millions and billions in the name of Jesus. For those of you trusting God for creative ideas, may my God give you creative ideas in the name of Jesus Christ. For those of you who started and failed, I bring a word of encouragement. Go back again. Restrategize and go back again. And may my God lift your hands this time around. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that your products and your services, whatever it is that you have to do, beginning from Zaria here or whatever your locality is, may the Lord announce it for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the spirit of excellence come upon you that you will package and design your products with top quality and excellence. And may it bring you abundance. May it bring you plenty. In the name of Jesus Christ. I rebuke the spirit of fear. Fear of failure. Fear of loss. Fear of defeat. I curse it in the name of Jesus. I command every dry bone in this place to come alive. Live again. Can I announce to you that there is a devil that will not relent over your destiny until you put him where he belongs hallelujah praise the lord the bible says upon mount zion there shall be deliverance and holiness and then the sons of jacob after that deliverance will possess oh there is no possession until there is a separation between light and darkness hallelujah oh the powers of darkness that have tormented you while I prayed the Lord opened my eyes and I saw a lot of torments that are keeping people where they are listen the Lord told me something he said for everyone I was talking with my sister earlier on and she was just sharing her desire to receive and I, I went to the Lord about it and the Lord said that all you need to do tonight that's what he was telling me he said if you speak it I will confirm it that's what God told me hallelujah when God told me I started writing a list of the issues I know in people's lives because I've been receiving text messages some of you sent me text messages angry about some situations and my God told me he said if you will speak it I will do it tonight I tell you the truth and I lie not believe the Lord. He will surprise you tonight. Please listen. There are some of you, I must say this. 
when we mention your case or any issue that has to do with you please don't waste the time of others hallelujah don't waste the time of others struggling and then coming very shabby very complacent we'll just jump you is that agreed because we want to see how we can use the few minutes we have to really do a quick walk in our lives hallelujah thank you jesus lift your hands as we worship you see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear just lift your hands i didn't ask you to sing feel the rain of your love see the wind of your spirit now the heartbeat of heaven let us hear we see the rain of your love feel the wind of your spirit please lift your hands when i begin to sing let it rain there will be deliverances let us hear so let it rain or shall spring them out let it rain open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain the power of the holy ghost moving across this building yeah. I see a lot of chains chains demonic oppressions the power of God is already moving but we are going to shout the name Jesus listen listen every time the Lord shows me this I see angels and I see the movement of the angelic right now at the count of three I want you to shout the name Jesus many of you will literally feel like electricity running through your body and those devils there is no hiding place tonight are you listening to me how many of you believe there is no hiding place tonight there is no hiding place at the count of three my god you will confirm your word everyone under any yoke any spell any enchantment at the count of three let the power of god Bring such a one inside and outside. Let the angels of the Lord move at the count of three. Are you ready to shout now? One, two, three. Oh, I cast out devils. Go, 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 go. I expose the power of darkness. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost, let the fire of the Holy Ghost fall. Let the fire bring her. Leave her, leave her, leave her, leave her. Let the fire of the Holy Ghost. Satan, get lost. Satan, get lost.
God will come on some of you. You will run out here by the influence of the Holy Ghost. No man will stop you by the influence of the Holy Ghost. It's the fire of God. It will happen to some people from outside. Outside, the fire of God is falling and even inside. But I want you to know, as I begin to chant in the spirit, there's no hiding place for any devil tonight. So get take a barata. Lord, let your power move. Every power, every force of darkness. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost. Let it fall. I release the fire. Leave them, leave them, leave them, ushers. Leave them alone. You will come out by the power of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out from your seat. The Holy Ghost will bring you out. Hallelujah. Now, there are some of you that see men come to sleep with you in dreams and oppress you. They call it spirit husband and spirit wife. I don't care what the name is. Right now, there is fire. Lift your hands, everybody. Responsible for failure. Responsible for delay. Listen. Listen. At the count of three, the Lord showed me in a vision. This one will hit many people. Tonight is a night of deliverance. Many of you do not know. This is what is responsible for your setback. I already see angels standing in front and outside. Listen, it's going to, you know, you will not be able to stand it. It's a fire. Are you ready now? At the count of three, some of you will not finish shouting Jesus. Lord, I pray. You said if I can speak it, you will do it. I stand under this apostolic unction. Every manifestation of the devil at the count of three. One, two, three. Go for Russia. Regressio. Go for Yeta. Yeah. <laughs> 
for this purpose was the Son of God made manifest that he may destroy, put to an end. The power of God is still falling. I tell you, devils are under major attack. But Paul's attack. The angels are walking. Don't wait till you fall down. Receive. Don't wait till you fall down. Has nothing to do with falling. Yay! was a sound that I had in the spirit. That's why I'm singing it. Yeah. 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 Hallelujah. Bring her. It's time for her deliverance. I command you to come. I command you to come. Don't force her. She will come by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come. Come and stand here. Yeah. 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 Listen. A scripture entered my spirit. It said, how awe-inspiring are your ways. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemy submit when light enters you it makes you a madman tonight is a night of major deliverance major 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 yeah. hallelujah leave her alone Stand there. Stand there. Yeah. 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 Listen. Listen to me. Everybody look at me. Please. The word of God is not a lie. God cannot be joking with you. Anytime you take your Bible, I told God, my life and this ministry will be a demonstration of the book of Acts. It's the Acts of the Holy Ghost. Sir King Salama, Salama. He's called the Prince of Peace. Hey. Salama. Yeah. Hallelujah. Leave her alone. Be still, stand in one place now. Your time in this body is over. Your time in this body is over. Now, in the mighty name of Jesus, out of her now. Come out of her. Out of her. Sir King Salama. Out. Come out. The fire of the Holy Ghost. He make it his angel spirits and his ministers flames. Leave her now. She's free. Sharking Salama. 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 Salama, Salina Cabo, Yabo, Serkin Salama, in a Cabo, Yabo, Serkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Your time is up. This is Koinonia. The mighty name of Jesus. Come out now. Out of her. Yeah, boy. Listen. Listen. The Lord is showing me an arrow coming from outside this country. This is what affected this boy. This thing has tied this gentleman's life. Leave him. Leave him. Come back.
back here. Come back here. Now. Sorry, everybody. Come back here. Many of you, listen. Many of you do not know that wickedness is real. You have allowed films to, distort, to, to spoil your mind. If you don't take, I tell you, whatever is stopping, one of the things I will be doing tonight is breaking the curse of marital delay. Oh, the devil, it will answer tonight. Look at, it's already happening. Come out! Come out! This guy has a violent spirit. A violent spirit. The mighty name of Jesus. Every lecker hole you have over this body. I challenge you right now. You will leave him. The fire of God is against you. It's time for you to go out. Out of him. Out. Shall the captives be delivered and the prey be taken from the mighty. But thus saith the Lord. Let her go right now. Thou foul devil, come out, come out. So pray, take a pariada baladala. Sarkin Salama, Salama, Salama. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you what the Lord is showing me about this gentleman. This guy, listen, listen, please. This guy has a very, very colorful destiny. But do you know what I just saw? From his head to his toe. How many of you have read the story of Lazarus? That's what I saw. And he was tied with snakes from his head to his toe. This is what I'm seeing right now. See? Do you know that the challenges many of you are going through is not ordinary? It's because nobody has told you. But tonight there is a God to set you free. This is spirit husband. This is what is stopping this lady from getting married. Out. Come out of her. Out now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your time is over. I'm seeing an army officer. I'm army officer. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Come out. Shekataba. Brentoko prikata. Out of her right now. This is the spirit of lust. Go prosketaliada. Be gone. There is no hiding. I tell you something. See, the mistake the devil made was to allow you come in here tonight. I don't care whether you are wherever. If you came here tonight, if except God lied to us in the Bible. But if he told us the truth, there will be a performance in your life tonight. Sirkin Salama. Come out. Out of her right now. Salama. Salama. Listen, let me tell you what happens in meetings like this. Some of you, because of this demon spirit, the one to start pushing you to go out or to run away, you, you better stay and let God help you. The devil is a liar tonight. Are you listening to me? Okay, I didn't finish with this guy. Watch what will happen to this brother. He's not looking at me. Oh. He's not looking at me. Just calm down. Stay in one place. I'm not speaking to him. Don't, don't worry. Stay in one place. You can't go anywhere. You come here. This is a, the head of a snake I'm seeing. Right to his foot. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. 
the fire of the Holy Ghost sets you free right now from your head to your toe. I lose you. I lose you. He's going to cough out something outside. Take him outside. He's going to go and cough out something. Sarakin Salama 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 Come out of her right now in the name of Jesus. Devil of darkness. Sarkin Salama Salama There's someone that has a problem, a heart problem, heart problem. That was your request, heart, something in your heart. I don't know what it is. The Lord is showing me. Please remember I told you, don't waste our time. Please. There's a lot of things we have to do this night. Heart. Something pertaining to your heart. If you are still thinking about it, you are not the person. Please, quickly. Salama 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 Hallelujah Ah ah See There is a lady Now don't feel embarrassed at what I'm about to say You see snakes in your bathroom Ladies bathroom Who is that person? Come out Come out this has been an issue you have not shared it with people snakes you are you see it who is the person please salama salama yeah you are not the only one no you are not the only one this is the problem god god is ready to deliver you look this is a family are you listening to me this is not this is an apostolic ministry so there is we are here we are a family when god is mentioning your case forget about what, what issue of shame issue of shame is out of the way hallelujah what's wrong with your heart asthma, asthma. is asthma really a heart this one i'm seeing a heart problem but i'll pray for you be healed right now in the name of jesus christ Heal. Listen, I'm going to pray for you people. God is doing Come out of her now. Out. Come out of her now, devil of darkness. The time is up. Just hold my hands. With both of your hands, the fire of God will hold it as tight as you can. It cannot stand, it will leave you because you are destined for greatness. Once I see it in the spirit, it must go, for light cannot hide in darkness. Aha, I see you now. Out, go. Go, Kapotoka, Reketaria, Mambroscote, Reketeria Daba, Boseketalia. Out, come out of her. Out of her right now. Sarkin Salama. Look at me. Two things God is doing. Hold my hands. Hold it. Do you believe you want God to set you free? Sarkin Salama. Look at my eyes. You just look at my eyes. Try to look at my eyes. Look at my eyes. Devil of darkness. Go! There is no hiding. For there is a name that is above every other name. What did she come out for? The same thing? Why were you afraid? Don't be afraid, eh? You hear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Look at me. Can you shout Jesus as loud as you can? Go ahead. Jesus. 
son. Salama. You are free. Salama. Salama, yeah. Be delivered right now. I set you free. Now. Do you know what is happening to this lady? If I tell you, some of you will not believe. For every shout that she's making is demons that are going. When she's done, she'll be quiet. <laughs> now, leave her. Fire upon you right now. Out of her. This lady has a great destiny. This is a snake. This is what I'm seeing. This is a whole snake. Mighty snake. The Lord is against you. Let her go now. Out! In the name that is above all names. Hold my hands, my dear. Hold my hands. No, I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. Come, hold my hands. I'm not speaking to her. Don't worry. You people do not understand spiritual things. You are spiritual people here. Come, hold my hands. The demon knows what it means, what I'm saying. Salama, yeah. Salama. Hurry up, please save our time. We, we don't have much time. Salama. Hold my hands. Don't tap it. Hold it. Out now. Salama. Yeah, yeah. Salama. Watch the way this demon will live. Come, see. Listen. You will go on your knees. You will bow to the king of kings and go. Simple. You will go on your knees, bow to the king, and off you go. Serkin Salama 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 yeah. Listen This is not jamboree As I see my father do it Don't go and try it You will die for nothing This is not child's play Hallelujah Don't you think we are just No I'm not one of those ministers I can't come and waste your time God is too serious Are you listening to me? Now lift your hands many of you do not know listen please now is the time to stand both for yourself if you are a lady here there is no reason why you should not be lifting your hands marriage is a blessing it's not a curse as i as i talk as i talk because you see i, I see a sword of fire leaving my mouth i want to break certain demonic things Many of you don't know what is stopping you and your loved ones. For some of you, it's a role in your family. Many people have told you nothing. Just, just hope one day. No, we don't do that nonsense in this place. Now, faith is... Lift your hands. Hallelujah. Listen. The moment we shout the name Jesus, some of you listen, you will testify. Whatever is happening to you here, we locate all your loved ones around. Listen, the reason is because there are ordinances of darkness 
that are keeping some of you your parents took you to places in the name of protection and that devil will not let you go the lord instructed me to do this hallelujah if you are here or your loved ones there has been delay men come they go or maybe you have a child and you're thinking you will not marry that devil is a liar this night are you listening to me so don't just stand for yourself alone don't say it does not concern me don't be foolish hallelujah are you ready now you will see the demonstration of the power of the spirit Kai, because see i'm seeing blood i'm seeing blood dripping on the ground let me tell you what this means there are covenants and ordinances this is what the lord is showing me but my bible says the blood of jesus speaketh better things better things at the shout of the name jesus the demons responsible for any marital delay god you said if i speak it you will do it right now at the count of three it will hit some of you in a mighty way inside and outside lord let nobody be spared one two three break 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 ushers bring them out ushers bring them out break 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 the yoke be broken the yoke be broken the yoke i release you i release you i release you i release you every cause of marriage over your family tonight be free be free be free don't don't take at her don't take at her time to get married hey bring them out don't wait till you come out the power of god is setting you free where you are yes 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 ordinances i'm seeing altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire altars on fire i set them if i be a servant of god right now i set every demonic altar on fire it will burn tonight I release you. I release your family. I release you inside and outside. I release you. I release you into your marital destiny. The curse is lifted. I release your sisters. I release your brothers. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. I release you. I release you. Just receive. I release you. I release you. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I got a text from someone. I mean, they brought someone who was sick. Who was that person? I can't remember now. A sick person. No, they sent, I remember they sent me a text that they would bring the sick person. Please save our time for God's sake. We're still going to minister to the sick. Hallelujah. Let that lady go free. Now, devil, let her go free now. Let her go free. I release the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you. Let her go free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Everybody say, I receive. Yes, it's happening to you. Now, please listen. I want to pray for terminal diseases terminal diseases all kinds of terminal diseases please you brought someone or you came here with a terminal disease come out quickly terminal only terminal diseases please let's save time can we do that god is locating people there are some of you god god is already terminal diseases please come out quickly 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 i beg you if you can run run save time please please as you come out here say lord it comes i hope you know what terminal diseases are healing rain cry unto god wave that sickness bye bye because it's going forever i'm not afraid Hallelujah. Now all of you because of time. Listen. Can you just hold your hands together? If you can. I'll just minister to you at once. Please. If you came here believing God. Then know that it will end. Hallelujah. There is an angel standing here and there is an angel of the Lord standing here please listen when we begin to minister to the sick if we call a case and you came with the person please make sure you come especially if the person cannot speak English for our mothers so that we can hurry up okay the power of God will come upon some of you but it really doesn't matter that devil is going right now the spirit is called the spirit of infirmity hallelujah after a country you will say i am healed when that happens it's like electricity it will pass with power all around this place are you ready now one two three go poto be free Go, 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 go. Coming out this is go. Go, 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 go. 
Go! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Go! 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 Come back with testimonies! Come back with the testimony! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come back with the testimony! 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 Come back with your testimony. I speak to you, all of you. Come back with your testimony. Come back with your testimony. Hallelujah. Say, I'm healed. Go back to your seats. You can check yourselves. Please make sure you check yourself. Go to the hospital if you need. I know someone with HIV was healed. Anyone who has been, anyone with any CG, see the power of God is, is breaking from inside. Some of you are outside here. You are not receiving. People inside are receiving and they are leaving you. Listen, anyone with any academic issue that Senate has refused to answer between now and the next 14 days, I command them to answer. Anyone who is at the verge of probation, listen, anyone at the verge of probation, I pick you from where you are and I bring you back as a student in this school. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to pray for you. Any cause you did not fail, listen. See, believe, oh, any cause you did not fail, but you went to the board and you saw F. I change it. I said, I change it. Man, to kapala kuzita. I change it, Kato Pratishi. I change it. Hallelujah. Any man, I don't care who, who is molesting and oppressing people in every in any department or any faculty, whether supervisor or whoever, I instruct them to begin to favor you now. Hallelujah. Now listen carefully. Those inside, can you hear me? Can you hear me? I'm standing out because I want those outside to appreciate this meeting. Now I'm going to pray for you. Some of you, I'm seeing chains on the heads of... We are dealing with academic issues now. Hallelujah. Listen. I want you to lift your hands. Many of you will feel like fire burning your head. If that... Wait. I'm going to count three. When that happens to you, Listen, this one will affect a lot of people. There are some of you that are first class materials. But because of this wicked thing, you were excellent in secondary school. It's not that you are bad. Let me tell you, those days will be restored. Because listen, listen, listen. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. When I count three, inside and outside, with all your heart, shout, I receive. For some of you, that will be the last thing you will remember. Something will happen to you that will change your life. Are you ready now? Please, with all faith. One, two, three. Receive it now. Receive it. Take it. I restore you. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take it, take it. Take it. Inside, inside, take. Receive it inside. Receive it inside. Outside, receive it. Receive it inside. Take it inside. Take it inside. At the back, inside. The angel of the Lord is touching people. At the back, outside here. At the back, take it. Take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Many of you will go back now and your academics will surprise you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 I want all of you to think about a cause that has been troubling you because I'm about to make it to bow now. Just listen, listen. I'm walking as God is. Just, just think of it in your mind just once and bring it under the lordship of Christ because I'm about to open I'm about to tell it to open up for you are you ready it's already happening to this sister now listen every department every faculty in Amadou Bello University that course that is threatening you right now when I shall bow many of you feel as if your head will open up are you ready now in the name of Jesus bow 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 in the name of Jesus bow bow in faculty of medicine bow faculty of engineering bow environmental design bow education bow Social sciences bow. Sciences bow. All the faculties in Congo bow. Every other faculty bow. Anyone with a missing script. Problem of missing script. I stand tonight under this unction and I command wherever your paper is where except you didn't write that exam wherever your paper is just as the donkey of kish was found i command that paper to be found now <laughs> hallelujah for all those whose assessments have been bad listen for this exam for all those whose assessment have been bowed have been, uh, are bad in the name of jesus i release makeup test makeup assignment in the name of jesus may the lord touch the hearts of the lecturers no matter how hard they are hallelujah all of you shout i will excel Say it one more time, I will, I will excel. Say, excellence is my portion. Say, I refuse failure. Say, I refuse failure. I take you from pass, from third class. I take you into, some of you are, are trusting, let me tell you, any class you need to step up, I step you up right now. I know some of you are doubting. Do not doubt the creative power of God's word. It created the heavens and earth. I said I stepped you. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For all those, whether you or your loved one, they've been writing jam after jam, wayek after wayek. You are looking for papers it has refused to come if god be god if there is a god in this place listen those of you who are about to whether jam whether de you have papers that you need to make up i stand as a servant of god i give you the paper you are looking for those writing jam i prophesy write your last jam in the name of jesus those writing whether wayek or whatever to make up and there are some of you who are about graduating but the papers you have are causing trouble and right now you already have problem at the senate mercy 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 you must graduate you must graduate let something be done in your life that has not been done in this school God is visiting people. Thank you, Jesus.
God is opening people's files, I tell you. God is visiting people. Don't stand there doubting. God will bless others and leave you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everything called mental blockage or exam fever, all this nonsense that comes on people, you will read and even do tutorial for others. In the name of Jesus. That spirit that makes you to forget things in the exam hall that you will only remember after you finish right right now i cast that spirit in the name of jesus in the name of jesus in the name of jesus you cannot read like a slave i forbid you from reading like a slave in the mighty name of jesus I tell you, God is visiting people in a mighty way this night. God is visiting people in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In your academics, I don't care how bad it has been. I don't care what has happened from today. Step into that, that dream you saw, that your, your results has never looked like it. You have been seeing it. Enter the reality of it. Many of you have dreams. You see four points, but you write exam and see one point. I curse that devil in the name of Jesus. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I tell you, God is visiting people. Hallelujah. Now, please, everybody who is sick. You came here with any kind of disease. I'm about to rebuke it right now, please. We don't have time. Our time is fast spent. But God is going to visit inside. Are you still with me? Are you still with me inside? Now, those outside here, I want, I want to pray. Everybody lay your hands anywhere is hurting. If it's a part of your body, you cannot lay your hands on, lay your, hands on your chest. Whether fibroids, whether growths, whether cancer, whether blindness, whether deafness, whether lameness, whatever it is, I don't care. If it followed you here, it made a mistake because it's going to leave you right now. Are you listening to me? Some of you, what you call sickness is actually oppression. Because I see that there are many ladies with all kinds of sicknesses. People think you are careless, you are not. That devil will leave you. Hallelujah. Some of you have HIV. It's not like you slept around. You too, you don't know how it came. Some of you have all kinds of cancerous growth. There are people they've told you you, you cannot. I, I, after I finish this, I'm going to specially pray for barren people. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, listen. All of you inside, lift your hands. Lift your hands for that healing. I'm going to count three and the power of God will begin to come on sick people. Just those inside. Those inside. Hallelujah. The angels of God are moving inside. I see them. At the count of three inside. I tell you many sicknesses will disappear right now. The moment I count three, just take that hand and lay it where it's hurting. And start receiving your miracle. Are you ready? One, two, three. Receive right now. Take it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Now lay your hands there. Receive your healing right now. Receive your healing right now. Many of you are feeling like electricity. It's the healing anointing of the Holy Spirit. It's going through you. Begin to do what you couldn't do before. Those outside now, lay your hands there. Are you ready to receive? That devil will not follow you. Now in the name of Jesus, those outside here, receive. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Growth disappear. Terminal diseases go. Asthma go. Asthma, go. Every deaf ear be open now. Every blind eyes be open. If your hair and one leg is shorter than the other, let the other one grow out now to equal sizes. In the name of Jesus. Every lady problem, 
every woman problem man de kagokoto rekatabari kete palatakai irregular menstruation ends now 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 shita katapalakata the fire of god is burning i tell you the fire of god is burning jikatoko proto super tukoto baladaba every lump in the breast disappears now disappears now disappears now every growth in any part of your body every growth i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus i cause that growth to its root right now in the name of jesus thank you jesus any pain in any area of your body i rebuke it any trace of mental disorder whether for you or for your loved ones wherever they are and if you are here let the power of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now let the fire of god touch you now shake it up reke te koto to 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 baka ziko to riapata zekete let them go let them go out 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 every kind of mental problem whether it has manifested or not out 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 go go every curse every covenant thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah now any woman here or your sister or you who has been barren please connect now is the time we want to release miracle children right now i don't know whether they have been barren for 10 years 20 years 30 years the bible says and god opened the womb of anna listen i want you to stand you are a lady here you live the promiscuous life and then you found out that okay some things happened maybe you lost your womb or something god is about to give you a new one right now i don't care what the problem is hallelujah praise god I want to cause barrenness and impotency low sperm count all this demonic infertility whatever I, I don't care if it has a name is going to answer this night are you ready everybody inside make sure you are with me hallelujah praise the lord whether for you or for your loved ones right now my father in the name that is above all names lift your hands i pray there are some of you listen some of you do not know that there are already projections of barrenness on you. It's just that you have not married yet. So don't say until you are married. The devil is wicked. God brought you to set you free. You'll be surprised. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, you're going to shout Jesus. And God is going to visit some people. There are some of you, God will visit you not for you, but on behalf of other family members. And I tell you, you will see people take in. Are you listening to me? Do you believe this? At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus and you'll see what will happen. Are you ready? Thank you, Holy Ghost. At the count of three, let your power move across inside and outside. Are you ready? This will happen to many people because there is the curse of barrenness. And standing for anybody at the count of three, shout it with all your heart. Are you ready? One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it. Take it, Supokoto, Rekete Keriata, Barrenness, go, 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 inside, inside, fire, fire is falling inside, outside, fire is falling, the cause of barrenness, Tokoto Peketa, for your loved ones, every barren woman, receive children, receive children, receive children, any impotency, Whatever it is, low sperm count, infertility, whatever it is in the name of Jesus, I curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Please stay with me. Sita kapala kushoprete, zimbato krostu palakato sepete. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. I want to pray and prophesy. We want to talk on the issue of finances right now. Everybody stand up and take this very seriously. We apologize for the lightning. I believe that maybe some hitches here and there. We'll soon round up. Hallelujah. While this is happening, please let's have all the prayer requests outside here. Look at me. See, listen, look up. The secret of financial blessing is in your giving life. Are you listening to me? I don't care what you are doing. The secret, if you are not a giver, whatever you are seeing now is only a deceit. It won't last. Are you listening to me? I want to minister to you. How many of you know that God is not glorified in anybody's poverty? How many of you are tired of the situation of some of your family members? You know, you know what? Uh, some of your parents, one job here, two months, they've driven them away. This is a curse. The problem is that pastors like sugarcoating things. They just say, oh, it's well. There is a difference between faith and foolishness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to challenge you. Everybody, please hold a seat. Bring out a seat. You know us in this place. If you don't believe, don't bring it out. I want to break the curse of poverty. Don't you think, please, I, I, if you have something, share with your neighbor. Please, please, please. Bring out a seat. Don't murmur and grumble. Just keep your seat back, please. We are a blessed people. We are a blessed people. Look at me. Look at me, sister. Look at me. Tell her to look at me. Look at me. Just tell her to look at me. Don't worry. Leave her. Look at me. Come out of her, devil of darkness. Ah, leave you alone. Praise God. See, while I was praying for this meeting, I saw this. Please listen. I saw a particular family. This is a revelation that the Lord showed me. And I saw them around the river. Hallelujah. Around the river with 500 naira. I don't know. I'm not going to mention them so that you don't think maybe I'm talking about a church or a ministry. We don't do that. But I saw some people seeming men of God or whatever around that they were trying to do something about financial prosperity. You see that? They killed chicken. They killed one other animal. I think goat or something. And they were invoking things on the person. And the Lord said, save this family. I saw it in the vision that the Lord showed me. There is nothing we will do here that God did not instruct. Hallelujah. Please, if you do not have a revelation of this, keep your money. You won't go to hell. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Bring out something and connect it. I want to pray for you. You will lift it up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Inside and outside, just lift it up. Kai, people are oppressed. Ah, people are oppressed. Listen, just lift it. Many of you, the fire will fall on you and your sacrifice. It will fall on you. See, it, it's poverty I want to attack. It's a spirit. Don't be mistaken about it. It's already happening to people. Everybody lift it. Please, make sure there is a seed. It will be your contact. Clash the symbol for me, please. At the clash of the symbol. Ah. Are you ready now? My father, I pray. It's your desire to prosper us. People have suffered. Families have suffered. Right now, spirit of poverty. Go. 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 Keep the offering up. Go. Go, 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 go. For your family, I burn that spirit of poverty. It's a curse. Leave God's people. Poverty causes laziness. Poverty causes lack of failure. Lift your seed. It's your sacrifice. My God and my King. If God be God, I pray poverty be broken in the name of Jesus. Be broken. Shoketeketa. Rekotopokotupaka. 
so protokoto rekete kete rekoto preketika jobless go 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 hallelujah to me my people made a covenant with me by sacrifice I command doors of uncommon, unusual, inexplainable and sharp prosperity. Let it be open now for you and for your family. That joblessness ends now. Mm, God is visiting families. God is visiting families. Any contract that has been revoked right now by the power of the Holy Spirit, I return it back to your loved ones. The curse of poverty be broken. Don't say I'm a student. Become rich in the name of Jesus. Become rich, blessed, wealthy. I program your spirit as surely as the Lord lives. God is visiting people. Twenty-one angels standing in this place. I don't know what I'm seeing. I'm seeing it, the whole of this place. The whole of this place. Lift your hands because God is about to visit you. Some of you, it's not just financial issues. God will join everything and visit you. As soon as I shout, receive it. Right from here, down to this row. This is what God is showing me. The power of God will come in a strong way. Lift your hands, all of you. In the name of Jesus, at the count of two, just two, the wind will blow. One, two. Let it blow right now. Take it. 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 Don't wait till you fall. This has nothing to do with falling. It has nothing to do with falling. Receive by faith. Hallelujah. The Lord is visiting people. I don't know what the case is, but when I touch you, just know God is visiting you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The angels of the Lord are pointing people to me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Aha. Now, out of her. Come out. Come out of her. Shekotopa. Your time is up. Your spirit. Out. Out now, pain go. Come out. Supo koto pekata lekata. Don bretons ke banda kriata. Lord, visit them. Ushers, help me visit them. Please help them, help them, ushers, so that they don't fall down one another. Visit them. Visit them. God is visiting your mother right from the States. Oh, no, in UK. God is visiting her right now. Hallelujah. Madam, God is about to locate you. Stand up, please. Stand up. Your time of breakthrough has come. Come and stand here, please. I don't know you, but look at me. Three things the Lord is going to do for you. Number one, God is going to change your financial story in a way that will surprise you. Number two, who is sick? Somebody is seriously sick in your family. It's my husband I have. It's your husband. Because this is what I'm seeing. This is what is sugar? Sugar. Yes, yes. What is sugar? What is sugar? I'm hearing sugar. Diabetes. Diabetes. Yes. Do, do I know him? Have I met your husband? I'm hearing sugar. The Holy Spirit is telling me sugar. Diabetes. Is that correct? 
I'm going. I'm BP, BP. I'm BP. Look at me. The third thing God is going to do. Are you building? Are you building, madam? Look at me. Are you? Yes. The Lord is saying that building will be completed. Yeah. These three things. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me? Because you have lifted this seed. Many of you, see. Father, visit her right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Visit families by the power of the Holy Ghost. Visit families. In the name of Jesus. See, I tell you, I'm not going to touch everybody. But if I do touch you, just know that God has visited you. It doesn't matter what the situation is. It will bow to the name of Jesus Christ. Bring this sister for me. This one. Yes. Come. Did I lay hands on you? It's time for God to visit you. Are you listening to me? Take it. It's over. Whatever it is, it's over. Right now. This fair lady, come. Please. I don't know what is it. Come. Don't see. You people should not be angry at God. God, it, I must not touch you. Do you understand? You can see that we don't have all of the time. Eh? Look at me. I'm going to end a lot of things in your life. Seven things in total. One by one, God is going to show you. Five of them. You wrote, you wrote seven prayer points. Yes, sir. How many prayer points did you? Seven. The Lord says seven things is visiting you and is bringing on. Was I there when you wrote it? Seven things you wrote. Seven things the Lord is visiting them. Lord, that is it. It ends right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Seven things the Lord is visiting you. Somebody wrote 13 prayer points. 13. 13. 13. You wrote 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 13. Who is that? Come. You are the one. Come. Was I there when you were writing it? 13 prayer points. 13 prayer points. What did you write about your father? My family. Yes. Peace in my family. Peace in your family. There is fight. Was I there when you wrote it? What did you write about the issue of money? Last week when I went home, my sister was complaining that yes. Because I'm seeing the Lord is showing me your prayer points. That's why I'm reading it to you. Was I there? There's no money. You went home. Even transport to come back. Follow somebody. Somebody gave me a lift. This is, I, I, God said I should do to prove to you that this is not just guesswork. My God, in the name of Jesus, locates this lady. Your situation ends once and for all. Regina. 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 Who is Regina? Regina, ah, no Regina, don't miss your miracle. You are Regina, you. Ah. No, this Regina is here. Your name is Regina. Where is your mother? She's in Lagos. What's wrong with her? I don't know. Ah. Pray for your mother, huh? Because this is an attack I'm seeing on her, huh? This is an attack I'm seeing on her. Be careful. Don't let any lecturer talk stories and ask you to come and visit him in the night. Does it make sense to you? Yes, sir. Does it make sense to you? Believe it. Huh? And then get into God with all your heart. Are you listening to me? I want to pray for you. This lackadaisical Christian attitude become a genuine Christian right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Grace to pray. Grace. Taiwo. God is visiting your mother. Just look at me. God is visiting your mother. Lord, visit her in the name of Jesus Christ. Right from here. Just as a point of contact, God is touching her in Lagos. Visit her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Visit her. This, this girl, eh? Bring this lady crying. Lord, end this captivity in the name of Jesus. This lady's family do a lot of diabolic things. Are you listening to me? And they have put, they have put things in this girl as a medium. This girl you are seeing, she's not the person you are seeing standing here. Hmm? This girl is very old. She's not as young as you are seeing, as in, 
I mean in the spirit realm. I'm seeing somebody that is up to 800 years old. Hallelujah. Are you saying, look at, look at this. Bring her. This is what is wrong. They, they invoke spirits of ancestors into this girl. Come and stand here. Because they did it in such a way. Listen, they did it in such a way. And this is the invocation that no matter how much you are a man of God, you will not see it. This is what they did. Look at, I've seen it. I'm seeing it in the spirit. Look at, this is why this cry is happening. They, they programmed it. I don't know how it is. Many men of God have attended to this lady. They didn't see it. I don't know why. Because as I'm standing now, I'm seeing a tree. This is a tree I'm seeing, a very tall tree. Keep quiet. This lady, you see, she doesn't even know if this lady gets angry, she can beat even five guys put together. I listen to me. She, 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 she will, I mean, beat you and put you on the ground that you will cry. Even her, right from a small age, she has been seeing this strange power. This is not normal. I need to rebuke that. Some of you are like that. You just think it's your family. You beat all your classmates in nursery school. Beat all your classmates. In, you are happy about it. Hallelujah. I have to set this girl free. I'm seeing rings on her legs, rings on her hands, uh, ring on her eyes, even on her eyes here. What kind of nonsense is this rubbish thing? Hmm? Keep quiet. This noisy spirit. You will go out now in the mighty name of Jesus. Hmm? Keep quiet. Keep quiet. Huh? Two of us won't be talking. You are going to leave. There is a legal access that is given to you. But the Bible says the captives of the mighty shall be delivered. And listen, leave her. Please leave her. Don't hold her. Look at me. Listen. Behave yourself right now. I'm going to rebuke this some it will create a ripple effect on all our family members because they mentioned their names as they were killing chicken this is what i'm seeing one by one they will mention their names and kill chicken leave her leave her leave her leave her come back just leave her she will come back by herself this thing is more than 800 years this is what i'm telling you am i wasting your time Am I wasting your time? Leave her, leave her. When she's done, she'll come and stand here. These are demonic things. Don't be distracted by all this drama. Let's concentrate on what God is doing, please. Mama, come. Come and stand here. Your time of visitation has come. I don't know what you came here for. Eh? your time of what did you come here for you are barren is that yes sir you are barren yes. how many years 13 years i'm seeing one and three mm -hmm. how many years? 13 years 13 years you have been barren your 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 situation has come to an end <laughs> hallelujah mm. lay your hands on your stomach what did the doctors tell you is in your stomach? Nothing. They will do scan, nothing. But you are feeling movement in your body. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. In the night when you are sleeping, it will be as if a man wants to sleep with you. Yes, sir. A man comes to sleep yes, and it has even affected your relationship. Yes, sir. Eh? You don't even have affection for him. Yes, yes. Do you know me? No. Have you ever seen me? No. Your time of freedom has come this night. Because this is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a stone, a stone inside your stomach. You used to have pain when you sleep. Sharp pain. This is a stone I'm seeing. Hmm? This thing is a demonic thing. Lay your hands. 
I open this womb right now. Let the womb take in by the power of... Take it right now. Alright, it's time for you to go. Now, in the name of Jesus, I challenge you, come and stand here. There's no time. See, demons can distract. If you waste time on them, they are going to distract you. Are you listening to me? All these things are distractions. Learn this. This is not just a place to receive. It's a place to learn. Many people focus. I'm not against all of but it's not necessary. We don't have all of this time. Are you listening to me? Come and stand here. Quickly, come and stand here. It was finance, right? Okay. Let God solve somebody's problem right now. Listen. I release you into financial blessings. 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 Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes is going to come. Bishop Stan is going to come. They are going to speak prophecies into you. Hallelujah. I wish we had time. But as they speak, please receive. Hallelujah. They will speak and while I go up there. When they are done, we'll come and pray on your request. Can you wait a few more minutes? Can you wait a few minutes? Pastor Jackson. Okay. Please, ushers, just cast your offering. Cast your offering quickly. Ushers, all over. If there are no ushers, just be patient. Inside and outside. Please make sure you drop your money to only ushers. Hallelujah. Please lift up your hands. There's no time. Join your hands with Bishop and as we pray, whatever you desire, okay? Whatever giftings you've been trusting God to unlock in your life, whatever dimension of God you've been trusting God to push you into, as we pray corporately, the presence of God and the oil of God will be poured upon you in the name of Jesus. Father, thank you in Jesus' name. I give you praise in the name of Jesus. Even as you have declared through your servant, Lord, as we cast this seed, may it be an end to poverty and financial hardship in the name of Jesus. You cause doors to be opened for every family represented here in Jesus' name. We stand in agreement and rebuke devourer in the name of Jesus. Devourers in form of sickness, in form of accident, we rebuke you in Jesus' name. We set everyone free. Enter into your financial liberty in the name of Jesus. Marital liberty in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me invite the ministers as we pray on the request. If you've not written your request, please write it here quickly. I want to... After this, I'm going to be inviting Uneko and his wife who are going to be dedicating and praying for their child. Hallelujah. And any other woman with child here, you're going to come out with your child. We're going to pray and speak protection after I do that very quickly. Hallelujah. Please. Very quickly. Stretch your hands while you are seated. You don't need to stand up. Stretch your hands as we pray on this request. Go ahead and pray. Father, we pray that you visit your people. Visit your people, oh God. Visit your people. Visit your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, visit families. In the name of Jesus. Grant every spiritual blessing that your people are asking for. Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray that every prayer point here, Lord, is answered in the name of Jesus. 
we release the angels of God to bring answers and solutions to needs in the name of Jesus. Let breakthroughs come, academic blessings in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for businesses. We ask that prayer points here about businesses, that the Lord will open up doors in the name of Jesus Christ. We ask for healing. We release the healing of God upon your lives in the name of Jesus Christ. We bring salvation into your family. The Lord visits your family in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord blesses you with peace joy in the name of jesus christ of nazareth refreshing comes from the presence of the lord refreshing comes from the presence of the lord in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every closed gate is open in the name of jesus christ of nazareth every dark cloud is rolled away in the name of jesus christ of nazareth father we thank you we give you praise we celebrate you in our lives in the name of jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah put your hands together for the lord Hallelujah. Please quickly, quickly, quickly. All the children, quickly, quickly. Please save time. We just have about five minutes or so and we're out of. Celebrate them as they come. If you know God will give you children. Please come and line up here quickly, quickly. Great are you, Lord. Greatly to be praised. All the earth will sing. Father, you reign. Great are you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, let me pray. Please, Uneku, come up with your wife. How many of you remember them? Worship team. Come on, celebrate your own. Technical, celebrate your own too. See, they're all seated together. Is that where they met? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everybody stretch your hands towards them. This baby is a miracle baby. I tell you. I was there in the hospital. I didn't even know the baby was on the bed. I said, where is the baby? Hallelujah. Stretch your hands and pray. Rebuke the hand of Satan. Do it as though you are praying for your own child. Rebuke the hands of Satan. This baby is blessed. Growing normally. Daddy and mommy are healthy. In the name of Jesus. We dedicate this child in the name of the Father, the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. This child will grow in wisdom, in stature, Amen. and in favor with God and with men. Amen. We command this child to be an ambassador. Amen. We program his destiny to glorify Christ alone. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for peace in this house. This will only be the first child and not the only child. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pastor Jakes and Bishop Stan, can I invite you just to come and lay hands on these children? hallelujah as we lay hands all three of us will lay hands you just lay hands i'll come back and lay hands on them as we lay hands on the children we rebuke the hands of satan we rebuke the hands of satan no let me lay hands on them before they go we are, we are doing it all of us please very quickly these are instructions that god is giving we're not just doing these things carelessly any child any one child that has anything that is not of god we cancel it right now we cancel it right now yeah. in the name of the Lord Jesus may the Lord visit this child let his hearing be perfected in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ see how wicked Satan can be in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ these children are blessed where is he? bring him the boy ran away because this boy wants to kill himself. It's the spirit that wants to kill him. Where is he? he I tell him to stand, but he went. You see what I told you, spirits? He ran away to where? Wherever he is right now, in the name that is above all names, may the Lord visit him. Yeah. You will go back and you will come and testify. Yeah. Hmm? I'm seeing the fire of God on him. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord visits him. You are standing on his behalf. In Jesus' name. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. Uh -uh. Come out of this girl. Devil of darkness. 
May the Lord bless you. Madam, God is really visiting your family. May the Lord... Ah, you came out for yourself or for your child. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. I prophesy upon your life. Please stand up, everybody. Be rounding up now. Every closed door in the name that is above all names, I open it right now. Every door of failure and disappointment in the mighty name of Jesus, let that door be open now. I pray right now. Any voice that is speaking against you and your destiny, I command those voices to be silenced right now. Whatever is stopping your spiritual development, whatever is stopping your passion for God, one leg in, one leg out, I pray, I release encounters to your life. Encounters with angels. Encounters of heaven. Visions and revelations. Dramatic encounters with Jesus Christ. I pray for the spirit of prayer. May it come upon you in a mighty way. Who is this? Oh, see the boy is back. Come. Look at me. How are you? The Lord will set you free. Huh? You love Jesus. Look at me, look at me. You love Jesus. Do you like what happens to your life? Huh? Are you tired of it? Look at me. Are you tired of it? Huh? You want to be free from it? Huh? Madam, it's not this boy that is doing these things. Are you listening to me? This is a suicidal spirit. Huh? This is demonic. Because this boy is destined to be great. Are you seeing? And this is why the devil wants to destroy him. Hmm? Look at me, my brother. Why did you go away? Okay. He doesn't even know why he left. Hallelujah. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, that devil of darkness. Your time in this boy's body is over. The fire of the Holy Ghost against you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. Who is Bulus? It's his uncle. Bulus is his uncle. Do, you, do I know Bulus? Where is he? Hold my hands. Father, I pray that the wickedness of men will not catch up with this boy. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My God and my King, I pray for a dramatic visitation. Look at me. Look at me. Go to church. Join a fellowship. Huh? These bad guys that are around you, they will destroy you. I cancel your appetite for them. They are, they are, trying, to, they are trying to introduce you into wheat and all of this nonsense. You will not have appetite for any of these things. Hmm? You will become an obedient and a respectful child. This hardened heart this night has been replaced with the heart of stone. Salvation comes to this family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Rehila. Who is Rehila? Do you know anybody called Rehila? What is the mean? Well, I'm hearing the name Rehila. This is your daughter? Come. How are you, my dear? Hold my hands. See a mystery. I'm going to be praying for you. But is that your sister that is going? Hold, hold on. Don't tell me. I, I don't want you to tell me. Hmm? Don't tell me. Don't worry. That's your sister, dear. I'm seeing light. It's leaving you and it's entering. I'm going to pray for you. But the prayer is going to affect her. Hold my hands. I set you free right now. I set you free right now. Lose, lose her from that chain. 
be loose right now. Let the fire of the Holy Spirit. There is deliverance going on in your family right now. I don't know why this is happening, but God is bringing you from Brother, look at me. Please be a gentleman, okay? Be a gentleman. Love God. Be serious with your life. You are a healer. Okay. Well, you came out. Let me pray for you. The, the Lord is not giving me anything exactly. What do you want the Lord to do for you? Ah, you don't know. I'll just pray generally for you. Go. Is that okay? Lay your hands on your chest. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I command favor to your life. Yeah. I command favor. Yeah. Favor. Yeah. Favor is one blessing that the Lord has given us here. I release it into your life right now. Yeah. Whatever has been a challenge for you, may God speak it. Yeah. Listen, when God speaks over your situation, that's all it ends. If you are here, I didn't call your case, but you came with an expectation right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for you. May the Lord visit you at that point of your need. Every habit here that is not of God, masturbation, pornography, all of these devilish things that are destroying people, I cast it out of your life forever. I cast it out of your life forever. It will not return again. I cast it out. I cast it out of your life. Every form of immorality that stops you from entering the dimension God wants to take you, I release grace upon you to walk in genuine holiness and purity. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for your parents and your loved ones. As God visits you here, may he visit them. As God visits you here, may he visit them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As we step into the seventh month, may it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. May it be a time of perfection for you. What you have not accomplished from January to June, accomplish it in July. I command promotion. I command promotion. All of you in ministry, I pray that you will see a greater anointing in your ministries. I release greater fire in your fellowships, in your churches, in your ministries. Let devils be casted out. Let the sick be healed. Let sinners be saved in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command increase and expansion for ministries here in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. All of you planning for marriage, I command whatever resource you need, I release it for you. Even if the man has not come, I bring him into your life. Even if the woman has not come, I bring her into your life. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, inside and outside. This is an opportunity for those who have never given their hearts to the Lord. Please stand up. Everybody keep standing, please. Hallelujah. The greatest miracle that can happen in this place is that you are translated from the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of God's dear son. You have seen the miracles and all of these things. But there are many of us that need to make a decision for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And right now, as we begin to clap, I'll count one to five. Praise God. Inside and outside, please give them space. Inside and outside, I want you to come before the Lord here. You've never given your heart to the Lord or you made a decision for Jesus once. You made a decision for Jesus once, but you found yourself derailing. Please come out and stand here in the name of Jesus. Please, leave your seat and come out. Appreciate them, they are coming. God bless you. Please rush, rush, run, run, run. Don't be afraid. 
God bless you as you come. God bless you as you come. Don't be ashamed inside and outside. God bless you as you come. They are coming. Koinonia, celebrate them. Outside, make sure you don't stay back. Don't let any devil rob you of the greatest blessing. Keep coming, keep coming. Young and old, keep coming. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, when I do this, Selena and my sister and their roommates, please you come and stand. I'll pray for you. Hallelujah. All of you. Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, those of you in front. Thank you so much for coming. See after me, Lord Jesus. I love you. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again for me. I receive eternal life into my spirit. I declare that I'm born again. I'm saved. Jesus is Lord of my life. I denounce sin and Satan from today. The Holy Spirit lives in me. I have eternal life and the gift of righteousness. And I will reign in this life. And I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that I will never be the same again. My life is transformed. In the name of Hello, beloved in Christ. We hope this message was a blessing to you. I would want you to do something for us. If you are new here, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this video as well. Share to your family and friends to bless them. Because we know that this message will be a blessing to their body, to their soul, and to their spirit. We would need you to do one thing for us too. Tell us in the comment section where you were watching us from. And if you've got any testimony for us, kindly share with us. Thank you for watching.